Okay, so Sword and Shield are coming out soon. And I'm probably going to do another video talking about that. Very briefly. That one's going to be brief. But this one's going to be a long video, as you could probably say. This one's going to be a big project <laughs> for me. I don't know if this is going to be the rest of my night. Or what. Or like two days. But. I wanted to go through. Every. Single. Pokemon. This is incredibly stupid. I'm fully aware. I am 129% certain. This is a dumb idea. Going through every single Pokemon. But I had an idea. And I wanted to do it. And I'll be fucked if I don't do it. <laughs> so. Obligatory starters. This thing that always bothered me because you have a whole list of thousand Pokemon in the game. Who gives a fuck about the starters? But it's always a big debate on like, oh, who are you going to go with? Who are you going to go with? What side are you going to get? What are you going to... It's like, I don't know. Whatever looks fine. I usually tend to fall onto fire types and whatnot. So it's not a big deal. The two sources I'm going to use here are Bulbapedia, which is amazing, by the way. Use these two sources if you're playing Pokemon they're, and you want to get into the competitive aspect. They're great. They're awesome. I purposely like... Uh, Pokemon DB, a ton more, because of the stat growth is really comprehensive and easy and just nice to see. And it has all the stats right here. But, this is an amazing one too. Bulbapedia is also fantastic. Check it out. Both these sites are amazing. Use them. These are the two I'm going to be using. This particular I'm using because they have a beautiful and absolutely fantastic starter Pokemon page. So, good job on you guys. Bulbasaur. Couldn't care less about. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, he just... He's a... He's a... What is he? Like a turtle? He's a turtle with a flower on his back, right? That's his whole gimmick. He's a turtle with his... Is this going to open up what I think it is? No, it's not. Mega Venusaur. Look at the Mega Form. The Mega Form doesn't even do anything. Different. Like, look at that. It's so... Ah. Garbage. Charmander, I liked, but could care less about. I usually drop Charmander for uh, Rapidash. Or Canine, or one of the cooler ones. War Turtle, Squirtle, War Turtle, Mega Blastoise. Eh, eh. We'll get to when we come to them in the big one. Pikachu. I don't like Pikachu. I'm probably like one of the few people who fucking hate Pikachu. I like Raichu. I think Raichu's not bad, but Raichu is always shat on in favor of Pikachu, because pika -bee! and that's it. Eevee, though, is the most adorable fucking thing ever, and is top-tier shit, so can't fuck with... <laughs> can't fuck with Eevee. Johto. I think Johto actually has one of the best base selections. Chikorita is pretty good. Cyndaquil is pretty fucking good. Not to mention Quilava and Typhlosion, amazing Pokemon. Great. Totodile, same thing. Croconaw, Fraligator. I was just struggling to remember the name of when I uh, This is right after I recorded the Pokemon Masters video, so. Crocodile and Fraligator? Great! Awesome! This is like one of the best ones, Johto. We also have another pretty decent one here, Hoenn. Trico, Torchic, Mud Mudkip. I, I never liked Mudkip. I didn't like Mudkip, I didn't like Swampert. Torchic? I liked Blaziken. Um, I always liked Skeptile. But as kind of like a passive, like, he's one of those, most of these Pokemon are going to fall into meh, because that's how I feel about them. They're meh, they're all right. I don't like Combustin and stuff like that. Chimchar, I went Chimchar, I didn't like him. I was, I kind of like Infernape, but eh. Torterra is nice, but eh. Empeleon is nice. Oh, God, excuse me. Empeleon is nice, but eh. I like the Water Steel typing. One of my favorite, my favorite grass type Pokemon, Snivy, gets comes into Servine and becomes Superior later. Awesome, great, fantastic, but also has the worst Tepig, which is just bad. And Oswalt, Oshawalt, I always felt was weird, and this is a huge jump, and I never was a really big fan of it. Kalos is nice. Kalos, Kalos is nice. Chespin, shit, I hate it. Froki, I like Greninja, kinda, kinda. Kinda. 
that I can't express that enough. He's all right. He's like slightly above meh for me. Del Fox though is amazing. Fennekin top tier shit. Lin is the coolest damn thing ever when it's a Torah cat. But the moment it evolves, and B, is there a quick way to its evolution from here? Nope. Okay. Torah cat. Oh, nope, there it is. When it evolves into Cinderor, I hate it. I hate it. I threw away this Pokemon immediately. The moment it went, the moment it turned into a giant Catman wrestler, threw away the Pokemon. Literally, I released it. It was useless to me. I hated it. I couldn't have been more disappointed. It was an awesome cat thing and then turned into a fucking wrestler. I don't want that. I never want that. Throw it away. It's fine. Primara. Yeah, I thought this this design is all right. I was I kind of like this design. It's kind of cool. So I kind of wish I went Popolio in Aloha next time. If I ever did. I did go that in Ultra Sun and Moon, but I got like three inches into Ultra Sun and Moon before I dropped it because it was just the same game and I was so done with it. <sighs> Galar. The new ones. Grokey, Score Bunny, Sobble. I don't like any of these. I usually don't like the starters and I'm not really that interested. Granted... I like these two. I like Li I like Fennekin. I like Snivy. These I don't really like. I like Torchic a bit. And Trico's alright. This is awesome. Johto's amazing. And base I could care less about. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty I thought like the newer ones I was a bit more bite, but no, it was totally. It was pretty even. Look at that, Eevee bean Pikachu because Pikachu's a bitch. Charizard. Yeah. Look at these stack growth. This is what I was talking about. The stack growth pace is fantastic. Do more of this. Typhlosion is a monster. He is amazing, and I love him. Look at that special attack. 109. 109. Look at beats that attack of pitiful 105 by 4. It's fantastic. Look at that Blaziken, though. 120 base attack. 110 special attack. Fucking clearing out these other two. Easily Blaziken showing up as the sweeper. Who cares? <laughs> Superior, I've always hated his stats. I've always hated his stat growth, basically because I use an Ekans as a stupid stockpile build. I breed, I bred shiny 6 IV Pokemons, by the way. So when I speak of this stuff, I speak of experience. I wanted to get Superior as my grass type, but then I just said F it to the grass type, period. Because I just, this was the only one I would want, because I love the design. And it's just not worth it. I ended up just sticking with an e another Evolution, which is shockingly like my half my team. So, meh. Shows where I am. Delphox ain't bad. Look at that nice stat growth. See the f trend of like the fire types are usually... This one, they're even. This one, fire type is winning. Fire type is... Ooh, water type is actually beating in this one. Fire type is winning. Fire type is winning. They have a tendency to give more stats to the fire types. Not a 100% fact, but it, there is a tendency here. And in Stackros on this, Charizard just got so much love with the Megas. Granted, he should. He's he's the he's one of the... I'd say apart from Pikachu, Charizard's the T2, you know? Am I still... Yeah, okay. Charizard's the T2, so that's pretty good. Alright, skip that. Skip that. That's not worth it. This isn't worth it. No, this is worth it. Yeah, okay. So... Now we get to the sloggy one. The one where we're going through a thousand pages. Yep. <laughs> Don't ask me to ever do this again. Because I'm probably not going to. Additional artwork. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. So don't ever ask me to do this again. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be a long mess, but it's going to be good. It's probably going to be good. We're going to go through. With the ones I skip, it's because I'm mad about. <coughs> For instance, all these, pretty mad about. Charmander, base design of Charmander ain't bad. Then you get Charmeleon, which looks pretty good. Makes him a bit more fierce, makes him a bit stronger. Pretty good. Then you go to Charizard, and he looks nice, proud. Kind of fat, kind of tubby, but, you know, fine. You got Mega Charizard, still a bit tubby, but looks pretty cool. Mega Charizard Y, again... Looks pretty damn cool. And he's more thin if you look at him. He's thinned up a bit in this version. However, still a big tub tub normally. So you know, you gotta love that. 
Squirtle, eh. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. Mega Blastoise, yeah. Yeah, Mega Blastoise always looks so silly. Hold on, I realize I just completely screwed myself over with something. Mega Venusaur, there we go, there he is. Let's see what Mega Venusaur says here. The flower on its back catches the sun rays. Yep, that's what I already knew. In order to support its flower, which has grown larger due to Mega Evolution, its back and legs have become stronger. I don't think I'm going to be reading all those. Caterpie! I like Caterpie. Metapod, yep, these... I loved the Caterpie and Weedle. I, I loved that uh, whole gimmick where they work like that. Mega Beedrill, awesome, cool. Did, uh, Butterfree didn't get a Mega. Hmm, that's weird. Pidgey. Pidgey's a good one, too. Pidgey's a good one because it just looks like a bird that would be running around and attacking. It's really cool. Mega Pidgeot. Bit too anime, never quite liked this. Never quite liked this. However, it does become a special attack sweeper. So, hey, you got that going for you. Rattata. I don't like the Aloha Rattata because of the stupid mustache. I always hated it. Didn't like it. Rattatice. Didn't really like Rattatice that much. I hate the fat hamster look. And Aloha and Rattata. Tice just doubles down on that. Not a really big fan of that. Spiro, really cool. Pharaoh, one of my favorite Pokemon. No shit. Like, in, in early generation flying type Pokemons, this was a really good one right next to Pidgeot. One of my favorite Pokemon ever, Ekans and Arbok. Arbok, these, this Pokemon is complete shit. I bred a shiny 6 IV specifically. That's a stockpile defense one. It is... So funny and so interesting to use. X and Y is the one I did it in. P the batter on his belly appears to be a fighting feint. Weak foes will flee just the sight of the pattern. It throws just wide and makes eerie sounds by expelling air from its mouth. I love the Pokedex entries. You get so much. This is why I want it. The, the shiny looks so nice. Shinies are beautiful for the some of these. Pikachu! <sighs> I don't like Pikachu. <laughs> Raichu! A Rowan Raichu is freaking stupid. But base Raichu, not bad. Sandshrew. Eh, I liked... I like Sand Slash a whole lot more than Sandshrew. Sand Slash is amazing, and the Lone Sand Slash is also amazing. I love the ice and steel typing. I don't know where he gets the steel from. Apparently he got some adamantium put him into him. That's not bad. Nidoran. I think everyone kind of likes Nidoran, Nidorina, and Nidoking variants. These are all pretty, pretty good. Not really any issue there. Clefairy, Clefable. Yeah, yeah. Vulpix, my darling. So beautiful. So amazing. You need infinite shiny Vulpixes. Totally wasn't always collecting shiny Vulpixes. That is not what I did. It is amazing. Do more of it. Vulpixes are amazing. Breed more Vulpixes. That's what I'm going with. Because you get nine tails. Look at that fantastic motherfucker. Look at that fantastic fu- <laughs> So good. Fairy typing though, which I never really understood, but... Sure, it works with my gimmicky hyper voice build that I can do for funsies. And nine tails. Fantastic. Gotta love that design. I love it. The TCG has some amazing card arts for Ninetales. Check those out, they're so good. I never liked Jigglypuff. So that carries into Wigglytuff too. Zubat, fine. It's always been a meh, that's filler. Golbat, I always loved how big a Golbat is. It is five feet tall. That is a five foot tall bat that is 90% mouth. That is amazing. I always loved that. Oddish. Eh. Gloom is funny. Because it isn't true. It's a nectar that is used to attract prey. It smells incredibly foul. However, around one out of a thousand people enjoy sniffing its nose bleeding stink. What appears to be drool is actually sweet honey. It's a sticky drool like honey, although sweet. It repulses. It smells too repulsive to get very close. Smell from its like syrup can be pollen so bad it can make opponents faint. Where is the horribly noxious honey drools? 
Oh, it's not talking about it. Oh, wow, it doesn't talk about it here. But Vile Plume. Is it Vile Plume that does it? Oh, it doesn't. Is this not the one that's... No, this isn't. I thought this one was the... Uh... Huh, maybe I missed it or skimmed over it. But I thought Vile Plume was the one where I'd say, Oh, no, here it is, Paris. Yeah, meh about these. Nah, meh about that. Paris, though. I love it. So it's a... It's a crab. Kind of like thing. With mushrooms growing out of it. So good. It's so, so good. As body grows oriental mushrooms, named Sumoku starts sprouting out of its back. Paris has parasitic mushrooms growing on its back. They grow large by draining nutrients from the bug-type Pokemon host. They are highly valued as medicine for extending life. As parasitic mushrooms growing its back, they grow large by... Uh, they are high wow, that's the same one. Growing out of the bug's back are mushrooms. These mushrooms grow big with the bug. Berries and tree draw nutrients. Parasitic mushrooms grow. They grow from their value. But oh, these are mostly the same. Shame. I thought some of these changed more. <laughs> no matter how much it eats, the mushrooms growing on its back steal away most of the nutrients it consumes. Mushrooms, they can be dried out and powered to make medicine to extend life. Uh, controlling the mushrooms known as... Are controlling the bug. Even if the bug... Bug bugs the mushrooms. They tell it to bug off. <laughs> mushrooms absorb most of the nutrition, so they tone it down a bit every now and again. But sometimes you get the crazy ones in here. Whether it's due to a lack of moisture or a lack of nutrients in a low, the mushrooms of Paris don't grow up quite right. Hmm. Interesting. But then you get Parasect, which is amazing. A host parasite pair in which the parasite mushrooms has taken over the host bug. Prefers damp places. The bug is drained of energy by the mushrooms on its back. They appear to do all the thinking. It stays mostly in dark, damp places. The butt of the big mushroom on its back. I love this. When nothing's left to extract from the bug, the mushrooms on its back leave spores on the bug's egg. Parasect is known to infest large trees in mass and drain nutrients from the lower trunks. When an infested tree dies, they move on to another tree all at once. This is so fucking awesome. This is the stuff I love about Pokemon. Where you get stuff like that. Venonat. Venonat I always thought was cool in animation, but didn't really care more for, much for. This is awesome, though. Venomoth looks really cool. Diglett. Eh. I've always been fine on Tiglet. It's uh, this is this is stupid. This is dumb. This is just dumb. That's somebody having fun. But Dark Trio, eh, didn't really care for Meowth. I like Meowth. I even like the low in Meowth. Look at that sassy motherfucker. <laughs> this is not PG-13. <laughs> then you get Persian, which is amazing. I had a shiny Persian. Great. You get a Technician. Technician, and you do low damage moves. They're awesome. They're fantastic. Persian is such a cool poker. So much fun. Hate Lotion Persian's face. Hate that face. It's always stupid. Never liked it. Psyduck I always thought was stupid. Gold Duck, however, pretty cool. Not bad. Mankey, eh, it's been fine. Primeape, yeah, that was one of those man ones that just kind of looks. Growlithe is amazing. It's the puppy Pokemon. I mean, come on. It's fantastic. Pokemon of the French, extremely loyal, will fiercely bark. This is like a 10 out of 10 Pokemon. And then you go into our canine, and it's a legendary Pokemon. That's its species. Legendary Pokemon. It's amazing. Fantastic. You need more of these type of things. That just jump in and jump out. It's like legendary. Legendary. A legendary Pokemon in the East. Many people are charmed by the grace and beauty of its running. Which originally could... In China. Many people are charmed by its grace and beauty when running. Consider magnificent. Many people are by its grand mane. It's magnificent barks. Where is the one? 6,200 miles in a single day and night. <laughs> uh, Fleetfoot. Proud and Regal. Legendary Chinese. Isn't there one where, like, when it runs, it... I, w I thought there was one where it said that when it ran, it lit up a hole. 
This is a six foot tall Pokemon. This is this is six foot tall. That is absurdly big. <laughs> that is also pretty big, Pol Poliwag. Yeah, yeah. They're fine. They're fine. Then you have Abra. Abra's always been the yeah. Okay, you're all right. You're all right. Get in, Mega Alakazam. Not bad. Shit, did I? I wasn't looking for. Nope, no, okay, there wasn't any Megas. I was right there if there wasn't any Megas on that. I shouldn't have double-tracked myself. I don't really like Alakazam, but Mega Alakazam is worse. I don't know. Eh, eh, eh. Machop? Yeah. Machoke. I always liked Machoke. And then Machamp. Eh, always lost me, so this one is never something I use. Bellsprout? I always kind of liked his first design. I thought Bellsprout looks really cool, and then Weeping Bell kind of loses me a bit. But then Victoria Bell, I really, 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 really like. That's really cool. We got a Tentacruel. I always loved Tentacruel. I thought it was always awesome. Geodude, I like Geodude's theming of like he now has some kind of of magnetic. He has a, they switched him to have a magnetic rock in him. Not a magnetic, but a rock that conducts electricity in him with the low end, which I thought was nice, but I just don't like how it looks. Base Geodude, I think, looks better. And then you got Graveler, and then this just... This, to me, always looked... I always jokingly refer to it in my head as somebody took a shit. You know, because it just doesn't look that good. Golem, that, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. But Golem, I always thought was fine. It looks really stupid. They took a rock, and they added a head and arms and legs to it, you know? Was never really a big fan. Ponyta, 9 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Tone Rapidash is amazing. I love Rapidash. Very competitive, loves to run. Usually can be seen casually, can't in through the fields. Just loves to run. If it sees something faster than itself, it will give chase at top speed. Shiny. So beautiful. The generation 2 shiny was amazing. I went out of my way to catch one. It was so cool. And then the shinies from that point on, amazing. I've always loved the shiny Rapidash. <laughs> Slowpoke. Eh. Didn't like it very much. Slowbro. The Mega was always stupid. Didn't really like it that much. But hey, that's what's going on there. Magnemite, Magneton. Magneton I always think is kind of cool. It's it's fine. It's it's like slightly above, meh. But it's pretty good. It's 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 up there, but not great. Farfetched, eh. Doduo, eh. Dodrio. I always kind of liked Dodrio, honestly. As far as normal type Pokemon go, if I ended up with a Dodrio, I'd probably use it for a good while in a game. Seal. Not actually bad, because Dugong's pretty cool. It's water ice. That's kind of neat. Sea Lion looks kind of fancy. It's not bad. It was always one of those things. Grimer. I always like Grimer. Alone Grimer looks stupid. But base Grimer? Really cool. So what this is, I believe, is uh, just sewage water that be that turned to life. Made of hardened sludge. It smells too putrid to touch. Even weeds won't grow in its path. As it moves, it loses bits of its body from which new Grimer emerge. This worsens the stench around it. Wherever Grimer has passed, so many germs are left behind that no plants will ever grow again. When two of these Pokemon's bodies are combined together, new poisons are created. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Grimer's sludgy and rubbery body can be forced through any opening, however small it may be. This Pokemon enters sewer pipes to drink filthy wastewater. Grimer emerged from the sludge that settled on a polluted seabed. This Pokemon loves anything filthy. It constantly leaks a horrible germ-infested fluid from all over its body. Sludge exposed to x-rays from the moon transformed into Grimer. It loves feeding on filthy things. Grimer always liked it. It was always when I was people would go talk shit talk Garbodor. I'm like, why is Garbodor bad but Grimer's fine? I don't you're you're being You're being a thing. You're doing something there. They're covered with a filthy vile sludge. Even its footprints, it has footprints. <laughs> this technically has footprints, by the way. They love to gather in smelly areas. Ruby from Muck's body seeps forth a 
foul fluid that gives off a nosebleedingly horrible stench. Just one drop of this Pokemon's body fluid can turn a pool stagnant and rancid. This Pokemon's favorite food is anything that repugnantly filthy. In dirty towns, where people think nothing of throwing away litter on the streets, muck are certain to gather. <laughs> so, yeah. Clean up the environment. That's <laughs> basically what that Pokemon is. Shelter I always liked, because then you get Cloyster, and I always thought Cloyster was a pretty cool one. Look at that defense value. Damn. Just skyrocketing. Ghastly. I liked Haunter, and I liked Ghastly. You lose me a lot with Gengar, and you've always lost me, and I never liked Mega Gengar. Onyx, I always liked. Did, oh yeah, Steelix is much, much later. Drowsy, meh, didn't care much for. Hypno, meh, didn't care much for. Krabby, Kingler, liked these two. Don't know why, I always had an uh, affiliation towards them. Voltorb, eh. Electrode, eh. Eh. Executor, this has always been stupid. I always didn't like that very much. And I never really liked them that much. They always kind of disappointed me. Cubone, I like it. It's hard not to like Cubone Marowak. Alolan Marowak, I think is awesome. And you need more of. <laughs> What's the shiny variant? Uh, is it like a small change? Yeah, it's a... Shiny Marowak doesn't actually look that good. Yeah, looks kind of bad. But normal Marowak... Alone Marillac looks great. Use it. Hitmalee. I always liked the theme between Hitmalee and Hitmochan, but I never liked the Pokemon. I think the theme is good, but I never liked them. So they end up meh. Look at Tongue Boo. Never really cared. Coughing. Coughing's not bad. Coughing's not bad. Weezing. Never really liked the design of that much. Galarian Weezing, though. Incredibly stupid, and we need to stop this. <laughs> Look at that. That's just goof town. Rhyhorn, not bad, always liked it. Rhydon, not bad, again, always liked it. It's a pretty good Pokemon. Chansey, eh. Tangela, eh. Kangaskhan. I'm gonna go with eh, because I never really liked Kangaskhan that much. I never really used it. I liked the theme, but never really liked it. Horsey, and Seedra, and Kingdra. And later, Kingdra. But Seedra, awesome. Used it a Ton. Even though it's a Dragon type Pokemon, it's a Water type. Mm, think about it. <laughs> Loved it. Always used it. Goldeen. Never really used it because I usually just used the Horsey. So I would always get that. Or a Star You actually. Star are pretty bad. Are pretty good. They're not bad. They're pretty good. Strong Pokemon usually. Strong enough for like casual play. Mr. Mime. Never liked. Scyther. Loved. Love Scyther so much. I believe he has Technician, so you can do the same thing with Persian that you can with Sniper. Really cool. Use it. It's awesome. Get some nice Stab Grasp type bonus. Wait, is he Bug? Yeah. Get some nice Stab Bug type, I think. And Flying type, I think, with Technician. So, Stab, by the way, is a 1.5% time multiplier on your damage. And that same type attack bonus. So, if it types with a Bug type attack, it'll do more damage than if it type with a normal type attack that had the same power, you know? Get it? So that, combined with Technician, you can do some really cool stuff with that. Not the greatest sweeper, but still, Technicians are always fun to use. Jinx, eh. Electro Buzz, never really liked. Magmar, never really liked. Pinsir. You always see these Pokemon really close to Scythers, and I always would just prefer a Scyther. I don't think there's any time where I prefer to Pinsir. So yeah. Mega Pinsir doesn't change much. Not really just Taurus I always thought was good filler. Magikarp. Gotta love the Magikarp Gyarados thing. Everyone loves it. I always didn't really like Mega Gyarados' design. <laughs> Atrocious Pokemon. <laughs> but it's... Eh. You know. Eh. What are you gonna do? Lapras. I liked Lapras. Lapras is always a good water type Pokemon. Water Ice. I like that typing. Ditto. 9 out of 10 Pokemon, amazing for breeding. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. EV, 10 out of 10. Look at how adorable this is. Look at that partner EV stats. 10 out of 10 Pokemon. Gotta love it. Look at its evolutions. Look at those evolutions. Look at how beautiful they all are. <laughs> Fantastic. Vaporeon, 10 out of 10 water type Pokemon. Masterful. Need more Vaporeons. 
has such a cool lore too. Uh, its cell structure is similar to water molecules. It will melt away and become invisible in water. When Vaporeon's fins begin to vibrate, it'll sing. It's a sign that rain will come within a few hours. Sing. Where did my brain get things sing from? Ah. Oh. It prefers beautiful shores. With cells similar to water molecules, it could melt in water. So cool. Vaporeon underwent a spontaneous mutation and grew fins and gills to allow it to live underwater. This Pokemon has the ability to freely control water. Ruby and Sapphire always have good ones. This is so... I love the evolutions. Eevee is like their best Pokemon, I think. Jolteon, fantastic Electric-type Pokemon. Look at it. It just... It just screams the typing. It's so good. Look at that. In ah, oh. so good. It is a flame chamber inside its body and inhales the blowout fire that is over three thousand degrees. <laughs> Woo! Fluffy fur has a functional purpose. It releases heat into the air so its body does not get excessively hot. This Pokemon's body temperature can rise to a maximum. That's so good. It's so... These evolutions are amazing. You need more. Porygon. I actually really like Porygon. I actually really like it. I never really, really liked Omstar, but Kabuto and Kabutops, 10 out of 10. I loved that. That was always so really cool. Aerodactyl, also pretty good. Not the greatest, though. There Was there a Kabutop? No, no. There wasn't a Mega of that. He technically gets a Mega with Legendary-type Pokemon. We're running to the end of the Gen 1, and this is going to be a forever video. Snorlax, I never liked. I never liked Snorlax. Did I skip somebody? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Arcuto, Articuno, always my least favorite. Zapdos, I like, because again, look at the tying. This is still, this is my least favorite of the legendary birds, but still, really damn good design. So when I say least favorite, still love the design. Unfortunately, they're all like flying types, so I think Zapdos is like the only one that gets a... Flying. Yeah, Zapdos is really the only one that's really worth it because he doesn't have that crazy electric weakness that all the other birds do, which just sucks. So these ones all get shot in the air. Zapdos is the only one I ever really used. Dratini! Love this design. Fantastic, beautiful design on Dragonair. Zero out of ten evolution. <laughs> Look at how much weight it puts on. It's 13 feet. It loses a bunch of that, and it adds it all. It's 36 pounds. It changes to 463 pounds. This thing could crush your house if it sat on it. Uh, I never liked Dragonite. Never gets a Mega, too. I always loved Dragonair. I wish. What is it, Evilite? That when your Pokemon isn't fully evolved, it gets bonus stats. I wish that was better so I could use them. Mewtwo, pretty good Pokemon. I always liked Mewtwo. Always been really good. Mega Mewtwo X, never really liked X, but the psychic fighting is always kind of cool. The Y, though, has always been awesome. I love the Y variant. Because it becomes just like Mew. It looks so cool. It looks like an offensive Mew. So cool. Mew, eh, fine. 100 Hundred. I love. Mew is pretty bland. I'm not really a big fan of it. But Mew being able to mimic anything is so cool. It's it's the lore behind Mew and stuff. 10 out of 10. Love Mew because of it. The design, not so much. Chikorita, pretty good. Bayleaf, lose me a bit. Megalum, lose me a ton. I think Chikorita is probably the best part of that. Cyndaquil, awesome. Look at that. Look at how cute he is. Quilava, awesome. Look at him. He's now alert. He's active. And then Typhlosion. He's intimidating. He's 5 feet tall, 170 pounds. Whew. It's a big boy. Becomes big. Look at that change. 41 to 170. Bam. Crazy. Totodile, good. Two feet. Totodile has two feet. That's pretty big. 20 pounds from a baby. Damn. Crocodile puts on a good bit of weight. Gains an extra feet. For alligator, bam. Comes big. <laughs> 7 feet tall. Eh, he's always been good. I said that before. These guys are great. 
those those ones are great. I loved them. Sad story with uh, Fralligator with me. When I was a child and I was playing this game where he was a starter, I didn't know what release meant. For whatever reason, I did it before in the other game, but I felt like, oh, so he'll walk around with me, right? Like in the other game. And that's what release means. And I threw away my uh, Fralligator. You might think that that would be the hard crushing scenario. It wasn't. It was... Back then, I was a one-and-done kind of person, so, like, my Fralligator was my only Pokemon I was using. I think the other Pokemon I was using, like, was, like, 30 or 40 levels below or some ridiculous number. So, yeah. That was trouble. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble doing that. Handling the game after that. I barely beat it. And I was very sad because I saved afterwards. I went for a good bit trying to... Mess around trying to find my fr I tried to find my Fraligator good in my own area. I was a dumb kid. Hey. Senrit, yeah, it's always been fine. For it, great. I like that design. Hoot hoot, love that design. Noctowl, great. Ladybug. Not a big fan of Ladybug. Yeah. Never really liked him that much. Ledia, uh, I always thought this was cooler, but also not good. I just didn't like him. Spinarak, Aridanos. Love this. Love this. Love this Pokemon. Awesome. Its spines string out not only from its rear, but from its mouth. It's hard to tell which end is which. <laughs> a single strand of the species string is endlessly spun out of its rear. The string leads back to its nest. Rather than making a nest in one specific spot, it wanders in search of food after darkness falls. Feet are tipped with tiny hook claws that enable to scuttle on ceilings and vertical walls. I love these. It attaches silk to its prey and sets it free. Later, it tracks the silk to the prey and its friends. Awesome. Such a cool Pokemon. Reading through these is like the best thing you could do with your favorite Pokemon. It's so cool. Crobat. Uh, is that an evolution? Yes, it is. High, friend high friendship? Not metal? High friendship? I like Crobat. Crobat's good. Crobat's good. I always thought that was a really good way. It loses... It's still huge. Look at that. It's five feet. It's a fucking... 160 pounds? Five feet? That thing has incredible wing, wing strength. Never liked this Pokemon. Never liked this Pokemon. Pichu. Better than Pikachu. Not by much. Clefia. Cleffa. Mm, it's fine. This is the Jigglypuff one? No, this is the Clefairy. Clefable. Yeah. Didn't really like it that much. Igglytuff. This is the Jigglypuff one. Yeah, this always reminded me of a... What is it? It reminds me of a... Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Digimon starter. Uh, what is it? Rookie? No, not Rookie. Baby? No, it's not baby. It can't be baby. Digimon starter. Like, the first form that weak Digimon start out in. When they're just, like, blobs. That's what this always reminded me of. Togepi, never liked. Togetrick, really never liked. I never liked that. It was always so dumb. Natu and Zadu. I like it. I like it. I'm pretty sure... It always stands still and quiet because it's seeing both the past and the future at the same time. I love this Pokemon. This is such a cool Pokemon. In the design, it's got the eyes, dual eyes all over it. So good. So good. Mareep. Eh. 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 All these are meh. All these are meh. Mega Amphros, I always kind of liked the look of. I don't know what was up with that. But I always kind of liked Mega Amphros. It's weird. It's dumb. But it looks kind of cool. Blossom, this is the change on Gloom. Was a cool change. Not a big fan of it. Meryl. Didn't like him. Pika Blue. That's, uh, this was originally Pika Blue, I believe. Uh, yeah, I didn't, never really liked him. Never really liked him. Pseudo Wudo, I always thought was funny. Because you find him in a forest usually. He's a tree. Everyone always thinks he's a tree. It is so much fun. Although it appears to pretend to be a tree, its composition appears to be closer to rock than a plant. 
It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water, so it'll disappear if it starts raining. If the tree branches shakes when there is no wind, it's a pseudo not a tree. It hides from the rain. <laughs> I love this Pokemon. It's always so much fun. I think this is an amazing Pokemon. Politone. Eh. Was this the change? Yep, this is the alt of Polyworld. Yeah, not bad. This is the one where they start giving it crazy branching paths. Awesome. Do more of that. It's cool. Hoppip. Nah. Never liked Hoppip. Skiploom. Never liked Skiploom. Jumpluff. Never liked Jumpluff. Apalm. Not the worst. Not even a meh. Kind of decent. I kind of like it. But this is... Yeah, yeah. Apalm. Yeah. Suncrin. Nah. Nah. Never really liked Suncrin. Yanma. Yanma was always one that I see a lot. I used once. I don't really like him. I don't. Whooper. Eh. Don't really like him. Quagsire. Never really liked. Espeon and Umbreon. 10 out of 10. Pretty much everything in the evolutions. This I could read all day for all the evolutions. They're awesome. I got a ton of Pokemon to go through, so I'm not going to do it. But these are cool. These are awesome. These are fantastic. More of these, please. So cool. Umbreon. We need a different evolution Pokemon. We need the second one. That's what we need. These are so cool. Different ways to evolve them. They have unique things. Their lore is so cool. You need these. Wait, what was that about Eevee's genetic material? The light of the moon chains Eevee's genetic structure. It lurks in the darkness for prey. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. More of these. Murkrow. Not bad. Really cool Pokemon. I actually like Murkrow. Slowking. Didn't like. Never liked. Never liked. But it is cool how he does... I always did like how he had the alternate evolution path. I do like that a lot. Mistrevious. I actually like Mistrevious. Not gonna lie. I always really liked Mistevious. It's because it still has the ghastly type, kind of like ball with the floating ghost type thing. I always liked it. It looked cool. Unknowns. Awesome. Awesome. Mysterious. There's a ton of them. 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Get more of them. They're amazing. They're so cool. Awesome Pokemon. It's flat, thin body is always stuck on walls. Its shape appears to have some meaning. Shaped like ancient, its mystery is that which came first, the ancient writings of the various unknown. It is ongoing, but nothing is known. Its flat, thin body is always stuck in its walls. So good. When alone, nothing happens. However, if there are two or more, an odd power is said to emerge. The unknowns and hell, even the first, like one of the first Pokemon movies with the uh, Entei. Great. Awesome. Amazing Pokemon. Weebuffet. Wabuffet. Great. I, I like the anime, so, you know, this has always been cool. Giraffe rig. Not bad. Not bad. I, uh, you gave you gave me a giraffe rig as a starter? I'd be like, I. It's kind of cool. It's got the two headmic things. It has a tail that has a small brain of its own. Beware, if you get too close, it may react to your scent and bite. <laughs> uh it contains a small brain. May bite on its own if it notices anything with an alluring smell. When it's in danger, its tail uses some sort of mysterious power to drive away the enemy. Giraffe Rig's rear head is a small brain. The rear head attacks in response to smells and sounds. Approaching this Pokemon from behind can cause the rear head to suddenly lash out and bite. Really cool. Oh, wow. The rear head doesn't need to sleep, so it can keep watch on surround. It's such a cool, great Pokemon. Cool. Normal type because it's just a normal Pokemon. And then you have a Psychic because of the head. It's really cool. I like it. Pineco. Ah, didn't like it. And I never understood the uh, Pineco into Fortress. It's a pine tree, right? Because it's Pineco. So like a pine cone Pokemon, right? Should be down here. Yeah, pine cone. Yeah, seed of a pine. And then it changes into a... I just... Defensive structure. Yeah, I just. I never liked it. 
I, I never I never could get into this Pokemon. I always thought it was just weird how it wasn't like grass or something. Like I'm fine with grass. If this was a grass steel, sure. But it's just mm. it's known as a bagworm Pokemon. Mm, I just I don't like it that much. Doing sparse. Some people love it. What's the name? Yellow rare. Yeah, okay, well. I should have honestly... <laughs> That's on me. I should have figured that one out. Gligar. Actually, kind of cool Pokemon. I like it. Not gonna lie. Steelix. Great Pokemon. Great, awesome Pokemon. Love Mega Steelix. Really cool. What? Oh, oh, okay. This is 30 feet long. Okay. Okay, yeah. Carry that around with you. Try feeding that. <laughs> Logistics are way out of whack, but that's an awesome type Pokemon anyways. Snubble. Never like Snubble. Never like Granbull. I like Granbull a lot more than Snubble, but so Snubble's like a nah. Granbull's like a meh. It's alright. It's filler. Quillfish. Nah. Meh. Skizor. I love Skizor. Skizor's great. Great, 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 great. I'm, Skizor's awesome. Need more Skizor. I think Schizor uses, like, either Light Metal or Swarm, right? You don't want to use a... But the Mega becomes a Technician? Huh. Maybe it is Technician Universal, then. I bet it would depend on whether or not you wanted to run a Mega Schizor or a regular Schizor build. Schizor's awesome. Love Schizor. It's great. Shuckle. <laughs> Shuckle the Knuckle Fuckle. He's always fun. He's fun. He's a mold Pokemon. <laughs> One defense, one special defense. So good. <laughs> such a such an obvious troll Pokemon. Just a wall. You wanna you wanna type in the wall? There's the wall right there. Shuckle. Heracross. Meh. Never really liked. Never really liked Mega Heracross. Didn't change my mind. Sneasel. I like Sneasel actually. Sneasel's actually pretty cool. I like its later evolution a lot more though. <coughs> Teddy Ursa. Ursang. Yeah, they're bears. I've always been mad. Slugma. Not bad. Pretty cool. I always thought. I always like running into them. I don't ever use them, but I like running into them. They're cool. They're flavor. They're flavor for a hot area, you know? Cool Pokemon. Swinub. Pillow Swine. And the later, Mammoth Swine. Not bad. Kind of cool Pokemon. Really neat. I like how it has Oblivious. <laughs> Prevents it from becoming... Infatuated, yeah. It's kind of cool. It's... It, this is a cool Pokemon. Corsola. Eh, meh. Remoraid. Not really that cool on its own, but wait till later. Octillery. Meh, filler, you know. Delibird, filler. Never really been a big fan of Delibird. Mantine. Awesome, it's got Remoraids on its side. So cool. Does it have anything... It doesn't care if Remoraid attached to it. So we're scavenging for leftovers. Swimmingly freely, eats and builds up enough speed. On side days, schools of Manatine can become seeing over the Pokemon is not bothered by the Renamade that hitches rides. So cool. So cool. Great Pokemon. Awesome. You need more. Skarmory. Awesome Pokemon. I don't know why. Look at this thing. This thing is so light for being a steel flying. Remember some of the other weights? This thing's ridiculously light. Weak armor. Physical attacks, lower defense, and raise speed. Huh. Huh. That's pretty good. This is a good Pokemon. I never I never used the hidden power ability, but damn, it's really good. I always love this. This one's been great. I loved it. Houndoor. 10 out of 10. Awesome. Houndoom. Mega Houndoom. Awesome. Houndoom. If you are burned by the flames, it shoots from its mouth. The pain will never go away you fight that is always that was the coolest thing in gold when you're running around you're doing stuff and you hit something and it's like yep you get to suffer now for all eternity anything you hit suffers forever <laughs> and how to impact the one with this horn strike sharply towards the back serves as a leadership role these pokemon choose their leaders by fighting amongst themselves the flames it breathes when agony contain toxins. If they cause a burn, it will hurt forever. 
<laughs> the pain will never go away. It will hurt forever. People imagine its eerie howls to be calls of the Grim Reaper. Awesome. Identified by his eerie howls, people a long time ago thought it was a Grim Reaper and feared it. Mixed with poison to finish off their opponents, they divvy up their prey evenly among the members of their pack. Awesome Pokemon. 10 out of 10. We need more of it. Where's the Mega? Its red claws and the tips of its tails are melting from high internal temperatures that are painful to the Houndoom itself. Houndoom's entire body generates heat when a Mega evolves. Its fearsome, fiery breath turns its opponents to ash. Such... A cool Pokemon. We need more of these. That is so awesome. Such a cool typing. Such cool lore behind it. Awesome. Kingdra. Awesome Pokemon. Same thing with the last one. It said that it usually hides in underwater caves and create whirlpools by yawning. What? Seahorse needs to yawn? Tor it's said to cause tornadoes as it wakes. It stores energy. Underwater depths at which no other life forms can survive. It's so cool. So cool. What's the weight? 335. Damn. These things could float, by the way, on land. That's how they get around. So weird how they do that in Pokemon. FNAFI, never liked. Never really liked. Dolphin, never really liked. But again, they're filler. They're meh. They're meh. Porygon 2, like. Just like I like the Porygon. Like Porygon 2. Stantler always looked so chubby. Never liked him. Smeagol, pretty good. I like Smeagol actually, not gonna lie. I like Smeagol, pretty good. Tarogre, this is the starter type to, yeah, I don't, no, no. I didn't like him. But, when you look at this, attack better than defense. I mean, uh, defense better than attack. This is so good. This is good, you need this. A equal, relatively equal attack defense. Attack. That's awesome. That's such a cool way to evolve. Because it means that, like, he's... Because think about that in lore. It's trying to find what's best for it. And it goes into what it's becoming best at. Really cool type Pokemon. In lore, but in actuality, I don't really like it. Handstand Pokemon. Ah, smooch him. Yeah, I didn't like him. Didn't like it. Ellie Kid. Nah, didn't like it. Magby. Never liked it. Milk tank, filler, filler. Those udders are horrendously big. They are horrendously big in every incantation of them. They're horrifyingly big. Blissey, meh. Raikou, awesome. Look at that design. Look at that awesome design. Entei, 10 out of 10. Look at that. Look at that majestic. That is awesome. Suicune, can I give a 12 out of 10? Cause that's this. This is this is amazing. I love Suicune. It's so good. But uh, that's not really that good. Uh, said to uh, the Pokemon who creates across the land. Said to North Winds will sometimes blow. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, always in search of a pure reservoir. <laughs> so awesome to purify fouled water. It dashes from the North Wind. Such a cool Pokemon. Such an awesome Pokemon. Lavatar. Eh. Puppetar, eh. Tarantar, cool. Like Tarantar when it gets to here, but I have to go through two evolutions. Not the biggest deal, but, you know. <coughs> Tarantar and later Mega Tarantar. Awesome. Real cool Pokemon. Lugia. Never liked this artwork with the hands. It kind of looks like it has hands and it's using fingers. Didn't really like that, but, you know, not bad. Ho Ho. Pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't like the thing on the top of the head. It always kind of looked like a pharaoh, right? Like, it kind of looks a bit like a... Mm, maybe it's just me. Celipi. Eh, meh. Trico. We've been over. Groovel. I like the look of Groovel. But then we have Serpentile, and he just looks high. He just looks stoned. Look at that. It just looks stoned. Mega Serpentile. That's cool, though. I like that. Little bit Christmassy. Little bit Christmassy, but I'll let, it I'll let that one slide in its entirely. Torchic. Not bad. A lot of people think it only has one leg, but it actually does have another leg. For a while, I had an argument with somebody that's like, no, Torchic is only one leg. It's like, no, it's got the second one, right? Falling behind with unsteady steps. This Pokemon breathes fire. It's really cool. 
I love the uh, I love the mentality of some of these. Like the lore behind some of the some of these Pokemon is awesome. Even the uh, if it has a fire sack inside of its bodies down here, as it has a fire sack inside of its bodies, it feels warm when it's hugged. Where is it? Yeah, it feels warm if it's hugged. Such a nice, such a nice thing, Combuskin. Didn't really like Combuskin. Never really liked it very much. But Blazekin, awesome. Ten out of ten. Great Pokemon. Really cool. Mudkip, eh. Eh, Marstop, really didn't like. Swampert and Mega Swampert. Hey, it's just. I don't like that. I don't like that one, but. Puchaina. Am I missing some? Oh, no, because the first one was Skeptile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puchaina. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It gets better, though. Mightyana. Mightyana is a pretty neat Pokemon. It's pretty neat. Because it actually. These things, it looks like this is all like uniform and it's like, it's fur. No, as you can see here, it's actually flowing off. This is external. It's not on the Mightyana. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Mightyana gives an ominous signal when preparing to... Oh, it gives obvious signals when preparing to attack. It starts to growl deeply and then flans its body. This Pokemon will bite savagely with its sharply pointed fangs. Those trainers that it recognizes to possess superior skills. It will always obey the command of a skilled trainer. Its behavior arises from its living in packs in ancient time. Look at that. It's such cool lore. All these... Some of these Pokemon have such awesome lore. Zigzagoon. I... I'm pretty okay with Zigzagoon. It's pretty cool. I think Zigzagoon's always been fine. Linen... Look at that. It's only a foot. It's only a foot. But 71 pounds. It's pretty beefy. That's a pretty beefy for being a foot long. That's a pretty beefy thing. Galarian, look at that. <laughs> doesn't it also, doesn't the Galarian also have another one? No, no, it doesn't have another Lanoon. Pretty good one, though. Wurmple. Eh, it's meh. But it, the cool thing about it, it is another Caterpie. So I like this. I like how it is another Caterpie Weedle type thing. That's really cool. And it even has the split... So it's one that can go into two, depending on personality. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Although, I have heard that if you're actually trying to breed one of these, to be like a shiny, if you're breeding shiny 6 IV variants of this, the evolutions can be a massive pain. There is apparently a way to predict it, though. Based on personality, so, you know. I think you could save Scummit. I don't remember. I, it's been forever and I never actually bred one of them, so I couldn't tell you. Lowe's had. Not bad. Filler. Lombre. Same thing. Filler. Ludicolo has always been kind of funny, but eh. Filler. You know, at the end of the day. Dot, Not bad. Nuzleaf. Not bad, but eh. Meh. <coughs> Shift Tree. Shift Tree, I've always thought I could tell the design. Not a big fan of it, though. So I always gave it a pass. It's a meh Pokemon. When I see it, it's neat to see. It adds in diversity, but I'm not really a big fan. Tallow. Not that bad. Swellow. Great. Awesome. Having strong bird Pokemon in fields looks really cool. It makes it look like it has a nice prey hunter dynamic. Stuff like that. It's really cool. Wingle. Hated. Always hated this thing. It always just sits there floating with its arms outstretched. Never like that. Let's see if it says anything. Uptress rising from the sea, extending long, narrow wings to glide. <sighs> yeah, it takes its hollow bone tangents, like spreads its wings to the wind, and so yeah, so it travels via the its low weight, which is twenty pounds. That is not a small weight bird. Yeah, uh, eh. yeah. I never liked it, and I never liked its idle animation ever, or battle animations. Pelipper has always been fine, but look at the mouth! It's all mouth! That's ridiculous, look at that! Ralts, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Ralts, let's see here. It's highly attuned emotions to people in Pokemon, it can set in hides of its sense hostility. Rawls, he has the power to use increased motions of people. 
The horns on his head to cover to take any sense of hostility. It's so good. Capture the warm feelings of people or Pokemon. Its body warms up slightly. It's so... So cool, and it's a psych- It was a ghost. It was a ghost type. Remember that. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, right? It was a ghost or psychic. It's been so long. Psychic, fairy. Oh, so much better. A Kerala uses a power to create a rip in the dimension to see into the future. It is said to dance with the pleasure on sunny mornings. So awesome. To have incredibly powerful things like this. And Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir. Monster. Look at that monster right there. Special attack. Whew. Pixelate. Turns normal type moves into fairy type moves. There's some stuff you can do with that. Gardevoir is a 20 out of 20 Pokemon. Always love it because of its lore. Gardevoir has the ability to read the future. If it senses a pending danger to its trainer, this Pokemon is said to unleash psychokinetic energy at full power. Gardevoir has the psychokinetic power to distort the dimension and create a small black hole. <laughs> This power will- this Pokemon will try to protect its trainer even at risk of its own life. So cool. To protect its trainer, it will expand all psychic power to create a small black hole. Gardevoir has the power to- the ability to read the future. If it senses a pending danger to its trainer, the Pokemon is said to unleash Psychonatic. Yeah, same thing. Even at risk of its own life. Kinda loops a bit sometimes. Apologies if I accidentally read into it and you've already read ahead and seen that it does that. Where is the Megas? Does it not have a Mega Entry? Aw, oh, does it not have a Mega? Aw, oh, man, it doesn't have its Mega Entries, does it? Hold on, let me look. Nah, it doesn't. Aw, oh, that sucks. That's a bummer, it doesn't have the Mega Entries in there. Mega Gardevoir is awesome, though, too. Love it. Source Kit? Like it. It's a good, it's a good filler Pokemon. Same thing. Good filler Pokemon. It's good. Good. Hmm. Eh. Eh, meh. That's a bit better. You get a little better when it goes to Vigroth. Slacking. I I see I I'm not really a big fan at first, but then I see it more and more. I kinda like it. It's kinda cool. Nikana, really cool because of what's coming up. This is one of the coolest Pokemon ever. You get <laughs> Ninjask, which is awesome. Because it's a ninja ass moves around at such high speed they cannot be seen, even while its crying can be clearly heard. For that reason, this Pokemon was long believed to be invisible. This Pokemon is so quick it is said to be able to avoid any attack. Which, you know, isn't true in game, but hey. This is why we need a cool anime that shows all the things fighting consistently. Mm. Look at that speed. 160 speed. Crazy. 26 pounds though I Pokemon is not aware of how much things need to weigh if they need to fly at such speeds Shed Ninja awesome 10 out of 10 100 out of 10 Pokemon I think everyone that sees this thing always says it's so cool it's so neat look at how cool look at how neat it is you can hatch this and get two shinies 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 Shed Ninja's hard body doesn't move, not even a twitch. In fact, it appears, its body appears to be merely a hollow shell. It is believed this Pokemon will steal the spirit of anyone peeping in to its hollowed body from the back. It's a peculiar Pokemon. It says to appear unsought in a Pokeball. It seems to appear unsought in a Pokeball after Nidicana evolves. This bizarre Pokemon is entirely immobile. It doesn't even breathe. Somehow appears in a Pokeball. A peculiar Pokemon that floats in the air, even though its wings remain completely still. The inside of its body is hollow and utterly dark. A discarded bug shell that comes to life. Peering into the crack on its back is said to steal one's spirit. Such an awesome... I think most people that see this try their best to make it work. But you're never really able to do that you can only be hit with fire flying rock ghost or dark type which is a lot that's one two three four five but you have relative invincibility to everything else however if you even get hit once game over it's really cool pokemon really awesome you need you need to use this it's so much fun to play with in your party wismer 
eh, filler. Loudred, filler. Explode, same thing, filler. I kind of like how it's designed as though. It's pretty good. So it's a little bit above filler. Makuna, filler. You know, it's, that they exist. Hariyama, filler. <laughs> Azuril, isn't that the, like the base variant of Pika Blue, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. I still call this thing jokingly Pika Blue. Whew, my nose is all stuffed up. Nose pass. Speaking of nose being stuffed up, hey, look at that coincidence. Not bad. Good filler. Skitty. I always liked Skitty. Skitty was always kind of cool. It's just really bad. All the Pokemon's moves become normal. That wasn't bad. I think if I was going to use anything, I'd probably use Normalize. Wait, what's Wonders? Yeah. Cute Charm's not bad, but Normalize you could do some crazy good stuff with. Hmm. I'm going to look through her skills and see what's cool in here. Oof, it looks like Giga Impact's probably the winner there on that one. How? Uh, no, that's Grass type. Ouch. Oof. Ooh, all these are special attack. Yeah, you know what? You could probably do Q Charm pretty well with uh, her because you don't have any. Giga Impact's a really strong move. And that's normal, so you're already getting the stab. Yeah, you know what? I think q Charm might actually be what I would go with with that. Anyways, good Pokemon. See, this is why I didn't want to do this. One of the reasons I get distracted way too easily and like reading the lore and going in. It's like, ooh, if I wanted to use one of these, what would I have to use? Also, as I was scrolling down, shiny type looks pretty good. I don't like the pinkest, but the bright red here in Gen 5 looks great. Sableye, good. I like Sableye, Mega Sableye, awesome. Really cool Pokemon. Love it. Mawile. Love it. So cool. Really cool. Deceiver Pokemon. Huge jaws are actually steel horns that have been transformed. Its docile looking face serves to lull its foes into letting down its guard. When the foe least expects it, Mawile chomps it with its grasping jaws. That's awesome. So cool. That's awesome. Great. Love it. It's so good. Oh, this one has a Mega. It's extremely vicious disposition. It grips its play and has two sets of jaws and tears them apart with raw power. <laughs> it has two sets of jaws thrashed around violently. Each have a will of their own. One gnash from them can turn a boulder to dust. Damn. Although its attack value doesn't really show that, does it? Oh, but look at its face. It's so pissed. Ah, oh, that's such a cool... Oh, I like it. Such a cool Pokemon. Aeron. Love this one. This one's so good. Larion. And then uh, on So. Such a cool Pokemon. And the Mega Turret getting rid of that rock. So it loses that water weakness. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. Look at the type defense change. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, uh, this is the competitor in me coming out. But, oh, it's so good. This is such an awesome Pokemon. Duos. I love using this thing in duos. What's filter? I always use pre-mated during duos, so I never pay attention to this. In like a Poke Stadium or something like that, I think. Reduces damage from super effective. Yes! Yes! So good. Love this Pokemon. Love it. I'm gonna start. I, I wanna get a load of Pokemon Stadium right now and just go into a game without duos. It's so much fun. Uh, Medichamp. Nah, eh. Medicham, yeah, I like Mate the Mega. I get what it's going for. I've always got what it's going for, but I've never been like it's filler. This becomes a little bit above filler, but also the design looks a bit too heavy. You know, eh, it's it's a give and take. This is really good. This is really good. This is really good. We need this. This is this is one of the good ones. This is one of the good ones. I love Magnetrick. So cool. I love the design. I love how it looks. I like how the Mega just gets ridiculous. <laughs> it's so cool. Pulsal and Minon. You would think, oh, well, these are kind of just uh, Pikachu, right? So you don't like these, right? Because they're kind of... No, I actually like these. Not, yeah, like, shockingly, I know. I actually kind of like these. I don't know why. I just always looked at them and said that was a really cool design. I kind of like that. I like that. Volley beam, eh. Eh. Filler. Roselia, eh. It's good. It's good, but filler. 
nonetheless, I feel like it ends up being filler. Gulpin, filler. Swallet, filler. Kind of always liked Carnava. Car Carvana. Carvana. Which is also, I just realized, a car selling app and website. So, yeah. That's weird now. Sharpedo. Awesome. Love it. Mega Sharpedo. Bit goofy. Bit, little bit goofy here with this whole nose going on. But the brutal Pokemon. So cool. Let's look at what its uh, lore is real quick. Look at that attack value. 140. Not bad. Not bad at all. 560 total stat disposition. Not bad. The spine spreading for... Oh, oh my voice cracked. Been speaking for too long. The spines spreading from its head are transformed fangs. If they're injured or broken off, the spines will regenerate countless times. Hmm. The yellow patterns it bears are old scars. The energy from Mega Evolution runs through them, causing its sharp pain and suffering. <laughs> the moment it charges into its opponent, the sharp spikes pop out of Sharpedo's head, leaving, leaving its opponent with deep wounds. Ooh. Ooh. Brutal Pokemon indeed. Ah, oh, so it's getting sharp pain from all those old wounds. Ah. Oof. Pain. Walmer. Funny. Funny, but... Eh. Waylord. Yeah. 40. 47. Think about it. This... I, other people have gone to how absurd this is. This is absurd? This thing would, like, float... But it is a float whale Pokemon. Look at this thing's damage HP stat. 450, 544 at maxed. Oh man, max I max EVs. Whoo! Whoo! This thing is ridiculously tanky. Doesn't have that much strength. You can kind of burn it down, but even with an electric type sweeper. Like I've ran into this thing with my Rapidash sweeper a couple times. Uh, flare Blitz and uh, Electric Blitz. We use on a Rapidash Sweeper usually. You don't get the stab on the Electric Blitz, but it's still a pretty good move to use on there because it counters your counter. This thing will just stop my Rapidash. Just straight up. I've had been stopped by this thing so many times. It is so good, though. It's like HP can just eat the hits. It has shit defenses, but it can just eat hits. It's so good. The Pokemon itself, by the way. Eh, kind of fine. Don't have a big issue with it. Nummel, eh, not really a big fan. Camerupt. Obviously a camel and a volcano. But ah, I never noticed it's mega and I don't really like it. Not that that that's not hitting on me. It, I didn't the base ones didn't hit and that one didn't hit. Torkoal. I always kinda like Torkoal. He's he's already he's fine. I like seeing him. I don't like using him very much, but I like seeing him. Spoink? Eh, I didn't like Spoink. Don't like Grumpeg either. Sad thing. Spinda. Never really liked it so much. Trap niche. Like seeing it, but I don't like using it. Vibrana, same thing. Like seeing it, don't like using it. Flygon, like using it. Sometimes I don't like seeing it, depending on what's going on with it. Cassina, not bad. Filler type. Cacturn, same thing. Filler type. Swablu. Filler. I always felt. Mega Alteria. Always looked really cool. It looks like a legendary Pokemon right now, doesn't it? It looks like, look at that tail. It looks like it's trying to be a legendary right now. It looks pretty cool when it does that. I always like that. Zangoose. I always thought Zangoose was kind of cool. Surviper. Loved it. Always kind of cool how the design is and it's so crunched up and just looks so, look at that. It looks so smug because of that turn. Looks great. Lunatone. Uh, Lunatone and Solrock. Always kind of cool. I always kind of liked them because they just they just work, you know. They just work and they work and they they look pretty cool. I like the theme of them. Barboach, eh, fine filler. Wishcash filler. Corpfish filler. Crocodile, I always kind of like seeing. Don't really like using, but I like seeing. Ball toy, pretty cool. Clay doll, pretty cool. Same thing. Lilip, never really liked. Cradley, cradley, cradily. It's obviously Lily. Yeah, type of plant. Cradle. Oh, like a cradle lily. Yeah, oh, okay, that makes sense. 
Krilla, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Not really for or against. Aronoff always liked, I always think it's so cool how these look like its eyes, but then you realize at, after looking at it for more than 0.1 second, these are its eyes. I think it has something here from a prehistoric fossil. Uh, but, uh, does it not have anything about its eyes? Ah, whatever. I love the eye design though. Looks really cool. Armadillo, really cool. Eyes though, I wish that with the armadillo you cut these off. And if you cut these off, it's like a 9 out of 10. You know, with just the mask and the head. head and you have like a dot in the center of each of these. Like a tiny little slit in them that kind of looks like a knight helmet. That would look really cool. That would look really, really cool. Phoebe's. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's filler. It's something you just blow over. But then it becomes Miltok, who I always wanted to make work. Never really could. Yeah, I could never really make it work. I just never... I could never really make this work very well. Because look at this. Marvel stick scale. Ups defense if there's a status problem. Okay, so you can... There's a lot of ways you could do that. You can inflict a status element to yourself. That isn't the worst thing. But again, that's not optimal. That's not what you're looking for. Competitive... When the Pokemon stats are lowered, you can lower your own stats, but it's also not really... The, I think that's the best one it has, and Q-Charm, if it gets hit, has a small chance of causing infatuation. You know what? Let's look at what that is. 30% uh, chance it will not infatuate Pokemon of the same gender, genderless Pokemon, nor those with the ability Oblivious. Uh... Yeah, that's not good. Hold the phone, though. I never knew this. Outside of battle, if a Pokemon with cute charm is leading the party Pokemon, their chance of encountering a Pokemon of the opposite gender is two-thirds. That's amazing. I never knew that. That'll help me so much in future time. That's really cool. That's really cool. However, cute charm, not really that good. Never liked. Never liked. Never liked. And uh, that reminded me why I never liked it. It just... 30% it, is too low. By the time you get hit, if you get hit twice, you're already dead. Look at this thing's maximum free. 394. It ain't gonna live more than one or two attacks. It's dead. It doesn't have the crazy... It has a pretty good special defense. Not gonna lie. It has a pretty good special defense, but... Eh, eh, it's not gonna really happen. Cast form... I was kind of like cast form. Cast form wasn't bad. You got normal cast form, sunny, rainy, snowy. Pokemon like this usually have a really cool mechanic around them where... I like Pokemon like this that have cool mechanic around them that can go... Bounces in between depending on the type of weather it has currently going on, I believe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Like if it's rainy, it'll turn into rainy, snowy, it'll turn... If it's hailing, it'll turn into snowy. And a sunny day has been cast, it'll turn into sunny form. Pretty cool Pokemon all in all. Neat mechanic, but not really the greatest. And I never really used them. Forecast, what is this? This is just the transform ability. Yeah, it transforms with the weather. Yeah, not bad. Cloak on, fine. Filler. Shrumpet. Like it, again, because it has the same ghastly look, of, but it has a horn instead. And it still has the same look. Great, love it. Awesome. Banette. Awesome. Even better. That looks really cool because it looks kind of like a marionette. Is that what's supposed to be a marionette? Yeah. Tub Puppet and Bane that ruins your spoils. That's really cool. I like it. Really, really, really cool Pokemon. Dust Skull. Pretty good. I like how it has one eye in between its skull. And it kind of looks like... Look at it. It kind of looks like it has its arms behind its back when it's sitting there. Really neat Pokemon. Dust Clops. I feel a lot less... I become a lot less interested in it. It's still fine, but like not a big thing. Does it not get its... Oh, no, because Dustnor is much, much later. Yeah, yeah. Tropus. I use this one shockingly a lot. Like, I always end up using this, but I just... In certain games, but I just don't really like it that much. It's good, but it has some pretty strong things to it. It's pretty strong, I think, right? Yeah. I don't think this skill was very good. I tried to use this one time. 
Yeah, I don't think I ever tried. I don't think I ever used this one. I did, but it didn't turn out very well. So it's alright. Chimeco, I kind of like it. Absol. Can I can I give something at a thousand out of ten? Because Absol's my favorite Pokemon, probably. Disaster Pokemon. It's three feet. It's a hundred pounds. Look at it. It's even even fits its weight. <laughs> EV yield attack. It's weak to fighting, <laughs> which is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Absol does not evolve, but Mega Absol is amazing. Look at that one fitty. Look at that one fitty attack. Oh, look at that stack growth. Oh, look at that beautiful stack growth. Every time Absol appears before people, it is followed by a disaster such as an earthquake or tidal wave. As a result, it came to be known as the disaster Pokemon. Absol has the ability to foretell coming natural disasters that lives in harsh, rugged mountain environment. This Pokemon very rarely ventures down from the mountains. Mistakenly interpreted as a doom bringer, its sharp these senses have even subtle changes in the sky and land to predict natural di disasters. It's a long-lived Pokemon that has a lifespan of a hundred years. Rumored to sense disasters with its horn, it became a target. It fled deep into the mountains. Mega Absol, when this Pokemon whips the wing-like fur on its ba back as though it is beating its wings, it sends an intimidating aurora at its opponents. <laughs> Much like anybody in JoJo, or the aura that you can put out in Hunter X to scare people away. As the energy of Mega Evolution fills it, it fur bristles, which you see on the back are not true wings, and this Pokemon is not able to fly. Normally, it dislikes fighting, so it really hates changing to this form for battles. <laughs> Converts the energy from Mega Evolution into an intimidating aurora. Faint-hearted people expire from shock at the sight of it. They die from the shock of it. So awesome. Let's check out the additional art work because I love this book. Yeah, okay, well. Global Link, not that great. Look at that. It's so good. Magic Bounce. I never liked Magic Bounce. I never liked Magic Bounce, but Super Luck. You get Super Luck, and let's see here. You use a bunch of... Da, 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 da. Where is it? Woo! It's late in here. Woo! It's late. Shadow Claw? Is it not in here? It's not in the levels? Oh my god, is it not in the levels? Oh, that's TM. Duh. What am I doing? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Scratch. You want to give it... Pursuit's good. Pursuit's a good one if you know they're going to back out. Sword Dance is also a good one. Slashes. Give it Night Slash. Is that the only one? Huh. There's more that you have to... It's not just Night Slash, right? No, because mine has two. Hmm. Oh yeah, Slash, duh. Normal Dark, there you go. I could swear there's others, though, that you could add to it. I could swear. The reason you use Slash is because it has an increased critical hit ratio 1 8th instead of 1 16th. Combine that with Super Luck... And increases from 116th to a 18th. So you're basically 1 in 4, kind of. You're close to 1 in 4. It's really amazing. Awesome type Pokemon. The Slash is so good. It's a sweeper. It's a strong attack Pokemon. Has an amazing design, amazing theme, amazing thematics. Awesome. 10 out of 10. Fantastic Pokemon. Why not? Eh, it's fine. This one is also fine. But it randomly turns into G Galil, which I've never... It kind of makes sense, but I'm not... I've never been a big fan. Mega Galil, though, has always been kind of cool. I've looked at it. It gains 200 pounds for Mega Evolutions. Whew. I always like that. That's always really intimidating and threatening. It's feel. Eh. Eh, these are fine. Filler. But I do like Walrin. I do really like Walrin. Clam Pearl, it's filler. Huntail, filler. Gorbis, yeah, filler. Relicith, you see it a lot, but it ends up being filler. Love Disc, another one you see a ton, but it ends up being filler. Bagon, I find is filler. Shellgun, eh, it's not bad, but it's not great, you know. But then, then, 
after its shitty form, it gets Salamance. This looks silly, but kind of cool, and I don't know why, but it kind of hits me the right way, and I like it. Look at that green stack growth, by the way. Look at the greens. Oh, so nice. Not crazy stats anywhere across the board, but whew. Aerolite turns normal type moves into flying. Damn, that's pretty good. Glaring weakness, though, on Salamance. It's always been ice. It's always just been blown up with any ice. Which I actually do have a counter. I was about to say, I don't really run that often, but ever since Sun and Moon, with a low in Ninetales, I kind of did run a lot, actually, in Sandslash. Oof. I actually do run those, so it actually is kind of a weakness. Beldum. I like Beldum. I don't know what it is, but, like, the rotating eye socket that can kind of, like, turn any way it looks like in the iron. That's so good. Matang loses me a bit, but Metagross is where you get me back again. Really cool. Metagross has some really screwed up lore, too. It's formed by two Matang fusing. It's four brains are said to be superior to a supercomputer. So two Beldums fuse to create a Matang, which is how it gets the two eyes. So four Metag... Metang, two Metagutangs go into Metagross. So it takes four Beldum to get to a Metagross. Awesome. Combined to form it with four brains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here it is. Alpha Sapphire. Metagross is the result of two Metang achieving fusion. One hunting. This Pokemon pins the prey to the ground under its massive body. It then eats the helpless victim using the large mouth on its stomach. Really awesome. Really, really cool. What's Mega? This form results from one Metagross, one Matang, and two... <laughs> They had to go so overboard. And I love the the thought process of it. The swarm results from one Metagross, one Matang, and two Beldum linking up. That is so, so cool. That is such an awesome... Because look, ah, it's such a cool design. Mega Evolution stimulates Braid. It emerged as a ruthless Pokemon that will clutch at any means of ensuring its victories. Its intellect surpasses its previous level, resulting in battles so cruel, they'll make you want to cover your eyes. <laughs> when it knows it can't win, it digs the claws on its legs into its opponent and starts the countdown to a big explosion. Such an awesome Pokemon. 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Regirock. I always like these guys. I always kind of like these guys, yeah. These guys are always... These are pretty good. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice. They all have themes, and they're not bad, but they're also not the greatest. It's really good. I always loved the look of them. Really cool Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon overall. Latios, Mega Latias. Oh, Latias, Mega Latias. Woof. I like Latias. Latias and Latios. I always kind of liked him. <coughs> Someone went to Arm Day, though. And that's all this Mega Evolution really is. Oh, the wings. Yeah, okay. I see where the wings went. Gotcha. Latios. Really, they both become purple. Hmm. I would think this one would become redder. Yeah, it's fine. Kyogre. Awesome. I love Kyogre. Kyogre looks so great. Ky I, Ky I always loved Kyogre. Kyogre and Groudon are always amazing Pokemon. I always love these. Look at that. 2,000... Whew. Good thing it's a legendary and you never actually... Wow! Ground type only and then it becomes a fire. Good thing... This one doesn't get an extra? You would never have these sitting around with you though. Rayquaza. Amazing Pokemon. 10 out of 10. Love Rayquaza. So cool. Mega Rayquaza looks just as cool. Love it. Jirachi. Eh. Fine. Deoxys. Love it. 10 out of 10. Amazing. I love its stat. Look at, look at the stat changes. Look at that. That's so cool. It doesn't actually know it gets a ton. No, that, that's awesome. It goes from normal to attack to defensive and it gets the stat. Oh, it's such a cool, such a cool design. Love it. Love it. And it always has pressure. It's always exuding pressure. Which isn't the greatest, granted, unless you have like really... The only time pressure is going to pay off is like this one. Let's be real. It's not really going to pay off in this one. 
and it's even not going to pay off that much. Yes, the defenses are very high, but it's... You can usually pierce that pretty easy, especially with any of these typings. These are pretty common. Dark type in particular, Dark and Ghost are really common. Bug is a lot less common, I find, but you're going to run into that. It's a great Pokemon, though. Awesome. One of my favorites. Turtwig. We've talked about it. I don't really care that much. I do like Torterra. Torterra is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty cool. Shell Armor as the hidden ability is also a good haha. -ha. That's pretty cool. Really good for a tank because it's defense against critical. But it's not just a tank. It's also an attack. It's actually more offensive than it is defensive if you look at it. That's weird. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was an offensive stand. <laughs> really, your Pokemon are just stand if you think about it. Infernape. I always kind of liked, but I never really... I never liked, liked, he put it... I always thought he was neat, but I wasn't afraid of throwing him away, you know? It was always like, alright, well, he served his purpose. Piplup. I like... Uh, I like Empeleon, but I never... I just never really wanted to do anything with him. I always kind of like seeing him. It's one of those where I like seeing. I'm gonna go with that. Starly, pretty cool. Staravia, yeah, yeah. Star Raptor though, that's where it gets neat. It's stupid, but kind of neat. <coughs> Badoof, that's fine. I plump mouse. <laughs> Biobril, yeah, it's fine. These, there was, these are filler. Kickaroo, Kickatoot. It's the same thing as like, yep, that's what it is. This one I don't like, but Kickatoon I kind of like. If you removed this, I would like it a lot more. But the must. But it is not bad of a... It's terrible. Look at that stat. Ooh, 384. Oof, bad. Bad. Just bad. Even with max IVs, this Pokemon is, like, adequate at best. Oof. Yikes. Shanks. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I love Luxray. Luxio is good, and I love Luxray. It's awesome. Let's see if it has anything cool. See through objects when it comes when sky free. It can clearly see through walls to track down its prey and seek its lost young. When its eyes gleam gold, it can spot hidden prey. That's it's such a cool Pokemon. Really great, awesome. Budu, eh, not really that interested. Rosade, I like, I like, but I just don't really. I think Roselia looks better. I always thought Roselia just looked better, anyways. Cardinos, I really like this one, and Rampardos. These I always really liked, actually. I, if I get one of these, I'll probably end up using one of them in a game. Sheldon, not bad. Didn't like this, though. Didn't like this. Bastidon, never really liked him. Burmy, yeah, he's fine. We should be getting close to uh, the one deer type Pokemon that I used one time. This is, again, like uh, Castful. Really cool. Really cool. I like Trash Cloak. <laughs> Tray. <laughs> Uses a bunch of trash. <laughs> Said that a worm evolves in a cold day. It'll have a thicker coat. Female in buildings. It becomes female in caves, female in grass. Male becomes a mothin. That's really cool. I like that. I like this. Uh, this is one of those ones that have really cool evolution. I don't ever use it, but I do admit it's just pretty cool. Mothin. Same thing. Combi. Awesome. Vespi Queen. These are amazing. These are really cool. I love this one. I don't know why. It's just, I always love using it in a bug. It is, when I'm going stupid builds and I'm going like all a certain type, I'll do like this with uh, Beedrill and just have a ton of fun. Doesn't this have a, this doesn't have a Mega. No, this doesn't have a Mega Evolution. Does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it has a really high experience yield, I think. Did it? I remember grinding them. Maybe I was just being silly. I think I was just being silly. It raises grubs in the holes of its body. It's decreased pheromones to control combi. Releases various pheromones to make grubs in its body do its bidding while fighting foes. It's house it houses its colony in the cells of its body and releases various pheromones to make those grubs do its bidding. It raises its grubs on honey collected by combi. That's always a really cool. I just like this design. It'd be I would never actually like this is one of those that would a Beedrill I would actually train if I had the ability to. Vespi Queen, no, I would never. In real life. Never never would I ever touch this thing. I it's just it would creep me out too much. 
Just whenever I see the grub start squirming out of its body, I'd be like, ugh. <laughs> Pursue, it's fine. Never had a big issue with it. Buzzle, though. Buzzle and Floatzel, I like. I like them. You see them a ton, but I really like them. Cherubi, yeah, it's fine. Cherum, yeah, fine. Filler. Shellos, pretty much the same thing there. Filler. But it does have, doesn't it like, uh, switch forms depending on... Yeah, it depends on whether you catch it on the Westerus, yeah. That's cool. That's cool, Lord. Gaston, yeah, it's fine. But doesn't it lose its... Yeah, it loses its coloring. Mm, not a big fan of that. Ape Boom, really like. And it's so cool because it has to learn double hit. That's so awesome. Where does it get double hit? 32. Whew. Whew. Is it 32? Ooh, ouch. Really cool Pokemon, though. Really, 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 really cool Pokemon. Shell Skillink? Multi-strike move. Ha <laughs> ha. Such a cool Pokemon. Really cool. Tons of fun to use. Drifloon. Nice. I always kind of liked them. Because of its because of its lore. Doesn't it say that it is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds on to it could wind up missing? <laughs> It'll just take away your children. Drift Blim, same thing. Not bad. Buneary. Really, really fun Pokemon to use. And it's really adorable. Lot Bunny and Mega Lot Bunny is a beast, I remember. You could do some fun stuff with Mega Lot Bunny. Enables moves to hit Ghost type. Ah, that's such a good thing. It's fun. Lot Bunny's not the greatest, but it's a really fun Pokemon to use. It swings its ears like whips and strikes its enemies with them as an intensely combative disposition. Mega Evolution awakens in combative instincts. It has shed any fur that got in the way of its attacks. So cool. I love I love using stuff like that. Mega Lot Bunny is so much fun. Got in the way? So those didn't get in the way? I guess because it's... Yeah, it's like trying to be like a Kung Fu. Yeah, I get it. It's cool. It's neat. Ms. Mungus, great. Love this type of Pokemon. Dusk Stone Evolutions. I love Stone Evolution Pokemon. Hornick Chow. It's fine. I, I like the base. I like Murkrow a lot more than I like this. But the big boss Pokemon typing species is great. Glam Meow. Really cool. I wish this didn't have its evolution. I really do. Perugly. Never liked this. I never liked its evolution. Brazen brute that barges its way into another Pokemon's nest and claims it as its own. <laughs> it binds its body with its tails to make itself look bigger. If it locks eyes, it will glare ceaselessly. <laughs> it's... Ah, it's... I never liked it. I always thought it looked dumb. Chingling, but that's the point though, right? It's supposed to look all fancy and like, Oh, look at this awesome pet you can get. And then it goes, blunt, And then you're like, ugh. Chingling, yeah, it's fine. Filler. Skunky, filler. Skunk tank. Do a ton of stuff with a skunk tank. That is, see, I've seen that way too many times in the games. I don't know why, but they love putting it in the games. It's annoying me. <laughs> but it's a fine Pokemon. Bronzor, not bad. Kind of like it. Bronzong gets a lot better. Really cool, actually. Bonsly, isn't that the... Yeah, that's the pre to Sudowoodo. Yeah, it's fine. Same thing. I like the other version better. Mime Jr., never liked him. Not one bit. Happiny, that's Clancy and Blissey. Yep, didn't didn't like it very much. Again, don't really like those. Chadot. I kind of like Chadot. It's not bad. Looks a bit weird, but it's also kind of cool. Kind of like him. Spirit Tomb, love it. I think it's such a cool Pokemon that it, like, holds a thousand or something. Fissured as punishment for misdeeds 500 years ago. A Pokemon that was formed by 108 spirits is bound to a fissure in an odd keystone. Love that. So cool. Such a cool Pokemon. Gibble. Eh, not a big fan. Gabite. But we're going someplace. Garchomp. Cynthia's king. Fucking the monster itself. Look at that attack stat. Goes way up there. 
Excess energy melted its arms and wings, transforming them into giant scythes. Its vaunted wings become size bending, sending it mad with rage. It swings its size wildly and slices the ground to pieces. I love Mega because it's so violent. It's so violent. Its arms and wings can melt into something like size. Mad with rage, it rampages on and on. Its disposition is more ferocious than its Mega. And before its Mega, Garb Chomp carves its opponents into size with both arms. It flies at the speed of sound while searching for prey. The proboscis on the head serves as sensors. Can even detect distant prey. Looks like a jet plane. It flies at sonic speed. Woof. Woof. That's crazy. Awesome though. Garchomp is always a good one. Love Garchomp. Is it not flying? It's not flying. It can fly at sonic speed, but it's not flying. Huh. Huh. I love how it's wings. That's so cool. Munchlax, yeah, it's fine. It's the prelude to Snorlax, it's fine. It's filler. Rylou, love Rylou. Rylou's great. Lucario, also great. Mega Lucario, even better. Really cool that it gets the... Nope, it doesn't change. It was always steel. I guess it is steel. Yeah, I guess it's steel. Black Shrieks over its body now show where its auras of energy of the Mega Evolution <laughs> intermingled and raced through it. Raising itself to face enemies or focusing its mental energies and fighting style can be summed up as a single word. Heartless. <laughs> Look at how brutal all these Megas are. Bathed in explosive energy, its combative instincts have awakened for its enemies. It has no mercy whatsoever. <laughs> so cool. Love that. Love all the theming that they have and all the adaptability. Even more. Really. Increase the effect of the stab. Ah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Should have used Lucario when I had the chance. Hippopotam. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Hippodon, though. That's a cool one. I like this one. That's a really cool one. Because it is just... It's a hippo, but it's a sand trap hippo. So cool. Scorpy? Not bad. Like it. Drapon? Like it a lot less than Scorpy. Not a big fan of it. Krogunk? It's filler. Filler. I kind of feel like that one's filler too. Carfinion's filler. Finlumian filler. Filler. A lot of these are just meh as a Bombasto. For whatever reason, got Omega. Never understood why. It's eh. If you... And I think I should add, but wait. But if you do like any of these Pokemon and I'm like, Oh, well, why are you shit talking? I'm like, it's not... You can like whatever you feel like. I'm just saying, this is my thing. Weevil. Love Weevil. So cool. Magnezone, not bad. Always liked him. There's no Mega, which is weird. Lick a, lick a Licky. Yeah. Yeah, I never liked Licky Licky, but I think Cloud9 was a good one. I don't know. I remember something with Licky Licky, Licky and Cl mm, Cloud9. I don't know why. <coughs> Rhyperior, I always feel like kind of ruins right on. I never liked Rhyperior. Tangrowth, kind of felt like it ruined Tangela, but I guess Tangela needed it if it ever wanted to come back, so, yeah. Electrive, I always thought was kind of cool. It's a good up from Electabuzz. Magmortar, I didn't like. I didn't ever, I never liked Magmortar. Togekiss, really don't like. Yamanga, cool. Really, really cool. Really cool change, Yama. Really cool Pokemon. Ogre Darner Pokemon. Damn. What is it? Uh, Large Dragon. Might. Yeah, well. I was kind of hoping for something about the Ogre Darner. Verdant. Leafeon. Evolution. It's great. Love Evolutions. Can't get enough of Evolutions. They're amazing. They're fantastic. Need more of them. Holy crap. I just saw that something said 300. I mean 700. And I was like, oof. Not even halfway done. Okay. Glaceon. Good. I like Glaceon. Same thing. Evolution. Love it. Fantastic. Awesome Pokemon. Gliscor. Really like. It's a good change on Gligar. Makes him look kind of cool. Kind of threatening. It's got some really cool stuff to him. Totally awesome. Mamoswine. Doesn't look that cool, but I like the theming of it. Porygon Z. Love it. Gallade. Really like Gallade. Really like Mega Gallade too. Really cool. Love the theming. Love the whole thing. Male, female split into Dawnstone or just levels up. Really cool. Oh yeah, anyone... 
Do you have to be female to turn into Gordivore? Huh? Doesn't even have to be female. It's really cool though. Love it. Love Gardevoir. Great. Love Gardevoir, love Gerade. Pro boss. Never liked. Never liked. I did like how it needs to, again, I like the fact that it has to level up in a magnetic field area. That's kind of cool. Dusknor. Nah. 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 Again, I like the first. I love Dusk Skull way more than I like Dusknor. For Olas, I really like. It's really cool. Freezing foes with icy near negative 60 degrees. What seems to be its body is actually hollow. Legends in snowy areas say that a woman who was lost on an icy mountain was reborn as Frolax. Hey, they changed the degrees. Bred to... It is said to secretly display on its... Hey. Secretly. So it secretly does it. So no one else sees it. <laughs> it freezes hikers who have come to climb snowy mountains and carries them back to its home. It only goes after men it thinks are handsome. The soul of a woman who's lost on a snowy mountain and possessed an icicle becoming this Pokemon. The food it most relishes is the souls of men. It is said that on nights of terrible blizzards comes down to human settlements. If you hear knocking at your door, do not open it. <laughs> when it finds humans or Pokemon that like it, freezes them and takes them to its chilly den where they become decorations. That is such a cool Pokemon. Love it. Rotom. I don't like the Rotoms. Some people are like, oh, it's so funny and cute. It's like, yeah, no, I never. <laughs> I like the idea that he can get into anything. And he's kind of like your Dex in Sun and Moon. But I just... I don't like... I like the concept. I don't like what ends up happening with them. Like, a mi what is this? A microwave? Or a microwave or an oven? Or it could just be a microwave oven, actually. A washing machine, a fridge, a fan, and a lawnmower. Yay, you know? How thrilling. Uxie? Uxie and Mesprite, I like. I like these. I like these. They're weird. They're kind of they're kind of awkward, but I like them. Dialga. Love it. Love Dialga. Love Palkia. Both those are great. Awesome Pokemon. Heeran, I always thought, was a odd addition. That they added in is like the other quote unquote air quotes air quotes air quotes legendary. I don't know about it though. I never I kinda like it. Kinda don't like it. It's cool though. Regigigas. Really cool. Love it. It is believed they to have shaped Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel out of clay, ice, and magna. Awesome. It is said to have made Pokemon that look like itself to form a special ice mountain, rocks, and magma. There is an enduring legend that states this Pokemon. Toad continents with ropes. They said this it made Pokemon to look for a special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a good Pokemon. Awesome Pokemon. Really cool theming. Slow start. Oh, yeah. It's still got a lot of attack to be halved, though. How long does that last? Slow start. Oh, it's just a normal debuff time? Okay, good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, uh, I wouldn't use it in a fight, but it is really cool. It is really cool. Giratina, awesome. Awesome Pokemon. Love it. Origin form looks amazing. Really cool. Don't really like how it's a renegade Pokemon, but hey, you gotta pass up the small things sometimes. Really cool. Cressilia, really cool. Fion, really cool. These things have amazing lore, by the way. Giratina and Cressilia, awesome lore. Fion, it's fine. Mamphy, it's fine. Yeah, it's, eh, yeah, it's fine. Darkrai, awesome, amazing, kick-ass Pokemon. So cool. So much fun to use, too, in times. Shaman, neat. It's really neat. But at 11 pounds, would be scared to have it around me. <laughs> Is that, that's the weight where if you rolled over in your bed, you could kill it. <laughs> like, and especially that, never. Never. That thing's like... You could lose that in your yard, probably. If you don't mow for a while. And God forbid you mow while it's in your... <laughs> your mar. Because <laughs> it is dead. However, its defense might be able to absorb it. So it might just be really, really injured. <laughs> Arceus, awesome. 
It's called the Alpha. <laughs> According to Legends of Shinnah, the Pokemon emerged from an egg and shaped all there is in the world. In a place where there was nothing and then shaped the world. Hmm. Really cool Pokemon. Really, really cool Pokemon. It has an awesome thing where it changes based on plate. Really cool. Awesome. Love it. Vincini, really cool Pokemon. Actually, like straight up, that's it's a really cool Pokemon. This, this right here, Victory Star, awesome. Really cool. Great Pokemon. Awesome tag team partner. Snivy, I love Snivy. Servine and Superior, love it. Let's read one of these. It can stop its opponent's moves with just a glare. It takes in solar energy and boosts it internally. It only gives its all against strong opponents who are not phased by the glare of Superior's noble eyes. So cool. Love this Pokemon. Really cool. Tepig, don't like. No Megas for these, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't like these. I never liked Tempeg's evolutions into this. Oswald. <sighs> See, I don't really like this one. And this one starts taking a design of Samurott. But then Samurott just... I don't know. I, it, nothing, this this one never clicked. I kind of like this design of Samurott. But it just never clicked for me. Pat Rat didn't like it. Watchhog, didn't like. Lil Pup, never really liked. Hyder, never liked. Stoutland, kind of cool. But never really liked to use. So, yeah. Perlion, Lipard. 10 out of 10. So cool. Unfortunately. Look at those miserably tiny stats. It is so bad to use. It It does not work. It just... It's just bad to use. I never have been able to use this in any good way consistently. It's always just gets shut down or swept immediately. Such a cool shiny too. Wait, is it the head? Yeah, yeah, it's such a cool shiny. Pansage. Cool, I like these Pokemon. I, I like all these types. They're cool. I think they're neat. They're neat. They're neat. They're cool. They're neat. I like them. Muna. Eh, it's filler. Pitov. I find this one. The Tranquil is kind of cool, but I find Pitov to be kind of fillery. And um, Unfinescent. So cool. Really good. Really cool Pokemon. I love that. What determines its look? Is it male or female? Ah, so it is whether it's male or female. Gotcha. So this one's the male. This one's the female. Really cool. Cool Pokemon. Like it. Blitzel. Love Blitzel. I don't know why. Blitzel has always been so cool. It's kind of like Rapidash. It's kind of what it is. It's kind of like Rapidash. And with the ground weakness, it's kind of good, too. It's actually not that bad. It doesn't have as crazy good stats as, like, some of the other Pokemon, but it is pretty good. I believe it does Wild Charge. Is it Wild Charge? Spark. Flame Charge. It gets Flame Charge. Does it not get... Maybe it is Wild Charge. That's the same thing as Flame Charge. Hold on. Let me, let me do... Let me indulge myself here real quick. Yep. Wild Charge. Yep. That's what it was. Flame Charge. Uh, I remember there being something here. Ah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe it's, maybe I need to look in Rapidash. Flame Charge. Ah, I can't find it. Screw it. Rognella. But really cool Pokemon. Zebra Strike, amazing. Awesome Pokemon. Rognella. Yeah, it's good. Yep. It's fine. That's I actually kind of like. This is a really cool one. The uh, Gigalith. Really cool looking Pokemon. Woobat. Ah. It's fine. I never really liked it, though. Swoobat. Again, fine. Never really liked it, though. Drillbur. I don't like Drillbur and Exadrill. I really don't like these two. Audino. I kind of like Audino. I kind of like it. But I also kind of don't. It's just normal, and then it becomes a normal fairy. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Healer. Yeah. I just don't really, uh, I don't really like him. Not gonna lie. I, I, I was thinking, like, was this the one? And I don't think it was the one that I liked. It might be. You know what? I'm gonna say, yeah, it's fine. I like it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's got a good look to it. Timber, these are always kind of fine. I like them as, like, the construction Pokemon, you know? 
I kind of like I, I like them. They're a really cool thing to be in there. Time pool, fine. That one's bad, and I don't like that. Throth, yeah, it's okay. Sock, yeah, it's fine. Again, this is like a Himalayan and Himmochan. It's cool, but never really liked them. I always like, oh, it's this these guys when I see them, and then I'm like, yeah, and I don't really care about them. So they're filler. <laughs> However, memorable filler. Sea Waddle. I like Leaveny, but I don't like any of its other evolutions. So, you know, mm, there's that. However, this thing is three feet tall. That is huge for what you would think it is. Here's a cool one. Venipede. Venipede Whirlipede, which does have a really cool... I like, do like that design. It goes Scolopod. Scolopede. Really cool. I like it. Good one. Codney. Yeah, filler. Whimscott. I do like Whimscott. I do actually like Whimscott. Codney, I don't like that much. But Whimscott, definitely like. Pitsalil. Eh, didn't really like that. Lilligant. Mm, it's fine. Basculin. I like the blue stripe better than the red stripe. But I think it's just because red stripe has a uh, profile. Has a better profile. Than the... Oh, no. It's the sharper eyes is what I like about it. I like that, but the open eyes the, looks makes it look goofy. Because it has a huge underbite there, and just the open eye doesn't make it look as intimidating. Soddle. This is a kind of cool one. Croconaut. I always kind of liked him. He was always kind of good. Crocodile. It's always kind of fun. Isn't there something? They never allow their prey to escape. Their jaws are so powerful they can crush the body of an automobile. <laughs> it conceals itself in sandstorms that fly and whip up and waits patiently for prey to appear. So cool. Darmaruka, I didn't like him. I never liked him. I never liked him. I never liked him. Never liked him at all. I just never liked him. I've rare I don't think I've ever seen him in a Zen mode either. I don't see people using him. And I don't like him. Gonna be real. Mar Cactus, I kind of like. Looks kind of cool. Has a good look to it. It's pretty tall, actually. Three feet. Damn. Dwebble. Not bad. But then we have Crustle, and I start to it starts to lose me. Scraggy, I do not like. I always hated Scraggy and Scrafty. I think one of the reasons are is because Nino's group in uh, Sun and Moon uses a lot of these, if I'm not wrong. And I just got so tired of seeing them. When you see them, like, once or twice in a game, they're kind of cool, and I kind of like them. But when you see them more than a couple times, I hate looking at them. Siglyph, I like this. Really cool Pokemon. Yeah, mask. Awesome. It's carrying a mask that apparently resembles its face. 10 out of 10. Awesome. Amazing. Fantastic. Configus. It's been said that they swallow those who get too close to them and turn them into mummies. They like to eat gold nuggets. Grave robbers who mistake them for real coffins and get too close end up trapped inside their bodies. <laughs> so instead they swallow those and turn them into... Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's just the same. Tortuga, not bad, but again, turtle. There's a lot of those already in there. Again, not bad, but tortoise, you know, not, I'm not really big into that. Archeon, I do like. I do actually think this is cool. It's called the first bird Pokemon, too. Archeops, again, like, looks pretty cool. And will cooperate to catch prey. Running at a speeds, it can run at a speeds of 25 miles per hour. It runs faster than it flies. Trubbish. I don't got a big deal with Trubbish. Uh, the combination of garbage bags and industrial waste caused the chemical reaction that created this Pokemon. So it's just kind of like muck. It just kind of happened. If a young Pokemon or child breathes in toxic gas that Trubbish belches out, it could be a life-threatening situation. Garbodor, who actually gets a lot of use, I think, right? He got, like, a ton of use, I feel. And it clenches its opponents with the left arm and finishes them off with a foul-smelling poison gas. Belched from its mouth. Because it doesn't even have an arm. I, I like Garbodor. It looks really cool, actually. This whole design here looks cool. I hate the face, though. The face looks dumb. Zora and Zorark. What an amazing pair. It changes its forms to others to surprise them. Apparently, it often transforms into a silent child. 
changes so it looks just like its foe, tricks it, and then uses that opportunity to flee. This Pokemon has a cowardly disposition, so when it is not noticed, not around friends, it basically always stays transformed to something else. Really? If a normally talkative child suddenly stops talking, it may have been replaced by a Zoru. <laughs> Zorark. Really cool. The bonds between these Pokemon are very strong. It protects the safety of its pack by tricking its opponents. Stories so say that those who try to catch Zorark were trapped in illusions and punished. It doesn't just transform itself, it also has the power to make hundreds of people see its illusions. If it thinks humans are going to discover its den, Zorak shows them visions that make them wander around the woods. So cool. Love it. The illusionary fox Pokemon. Awesome. Love it. 10 out of 10. So cool. Mineko and Klineko. I actually like these ones. These ones are actually pretty good. They're not great, but they're not fantastic, but they're pretty good. Gothita, I don't like that much. And Gothrita, I don't like. I don't like this one. Gothelli, don't like him. Solicis, it's fine. Duasan, fine. Ramoskos, I think this is kind of cool because it gets like a form and it looks kind of like a... Kind of alien-y. It does look cool though. So I like its final form, but the other two I just don't like at all. Ducklet, I don't like that. Swana, I don't like either. It looks too like, ugh, how could you? You know, that's what it looks like it's constantly doing. Vanilla, I actually like Vanilla. Vanilla and Vanilla Lux. I think these ones are actually really cool Pokemon. So in large amounts of water, they make snow clouds inside their bodies and attack foes with violent blizzards. Vanillux is born when two Vanillish, half melted by the day's light, stick to each other and freeze together in the cold return of night. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. It's a cool one. Deerling! Which wasn't loading. Deerling. My god, does this thing have a ton of forms to it. It's not showing its forms, but this thing has a ton of forms to it. Really cool though, really awesome Pokemon. It changes depending on what season it's in. Really cool. Fun to breed, really fun one to breed actually. Emolga, I, I think that one's always been fine. I liked it. Carblast, not so much. Nah, not really interested in. Ivisca, yeah, I never liked him. Fungus, no. No, Amoongus. There's a Fungus Among Us. <laughs> that joke has been said by so many people, but it's so common of there's a Fungus Among Us. It doesn't say anything. They show off their Pokeball caps to lure prey, but very few Pokemon are fooled by this. They show off their Pokeball caps and lures the play close to by dancing away with its arm caps. Several Pokeballs in a swag motion. Now... One of the reasons that Pokemon actually do, some Pokemon actually seek to be caught and trained. It's weird how that works. It's weird, but hey. Frillish, I actually kind of like. It's a jellyfish. Kind of cool. And then Jellicent, I really don't like Jellicent, though. Ah! Amolia. Amola. Um, Almomola. Almomola. I never really liked Almomola. Uh, it's just. Eh. I've seen them a lot. Mola Mola, species of fish, yeah. Never liked it. Always just kind of looked dumb. Joltik, I actually like Joltik and Galavantula. However, their stat growth is terrible and I never used them. So, yeah. Ferroseed. Nah, I never liked these guys. I'm gonna not going to lie, didn't like these guys. I always think they're kind of lame whenever I saw them. Clink, I actually like Clink Clang and Clink Clang. I think that's actually a really, really cool... Evolution type and looks really neat. Its red core functions as an energy tank. It fires that charged enemy through the spikes into the arena. Tynamo. Eh. Yeah. It's fine. Is there no? Yeah, there is. Okay, yeah. Electric. That's kind of cool because it comes a leech. And then Electros. Bam. That looks that not bad. I kind of like it. Looks pretty cool. Not bad. Levitate. Huh. I guess. Amorphous. <laughs> Elegym, never liked this one. Never liked him. Never liked him. Litwick. I actually like Litwick. Looks really adorable, I think. And Lampet. Kind of cool. Chandelier. I like Chandelier. Chandelier is kind of cool. Axu. Axu is always cool because of what he turns into. Fracture and Haxorus. Love Haxorus. 
Haxorus is awesome. Their tusks are incredibly destructive. They can easily scythe through a thick, sturdy steel colon every time. Awesome. These sturdy tusks will stay sharp even if used to cut steel beams. These Pokemon are covered in hard armor. Awesome Pokemon. Real cool. Cub Chew. It's fine. Bear Tick. Fine. It's a bear. Kind of like the earlier one. It's a bear. I really like this design. I think it's really cool. Its eyes look all happy because it's got the up arrows in its eyes, so it looks happy, but it's clearly not that's it's clearly not pleased. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Shelmet, don't like. Aceligar, don't really like. Stunfisk, don't like. Mindfu, like what you're going with, but not really thrilled about it. Mine shall like a lot more because it looks really cool. It wields the fur on its arm like whips to form attacks with such rapidity that cannot be even seen. Look at that. Attacks so fast, but its speed is... One of its better stats, but not great. Not great. Drudgegon. This is such a common Pokemon. that You actually grind a lot because it has a high experience drop rate, I think. No, it's not that high experience. But I did end up grinding it in X and Y briefly. I do remember grinding it very briefly in X and Y. I don't know why. Maybe I just need to get an evolution or two and it was the best thing in the area. It's good. I like it. I don't like the red head though. If it didn't have, if it had red accents on its head, kind of like the rest of its body, it would get rated much higher for me. But the red head, eh, not really feeling it. Golette, it's fine. Golurk though, pretty cool. Pretty cool Pokemon. Ponyard, I don't like its first evolution. But then Bisharp, I kind of like it. But I do like the chest theme that they have going for it, you know. I do like that. Buffalant, ah. Observes damage even if they strike first. Yeah, I don't. I never liked it. I never liked it. I felt like they already have enough of these type of Pokemon. But I guess you didn't have a straight up Buffalo, so might as well. Rufflet and Breveri. Awesome Pokemon. Really cool. Really cool. Vol baby, I don't like. I don't like Mandibuzz. I still don't really like. Not gonna lie, Heatmore didn't really like. However, does have a really screwed up. Using their very hot flame covered tongues, they burn through Durant steel bodies and consume their insides. Speaking of Durant, it's really cool how you always find those two near each other. They attack in groups, covering themselves in steel armor to protect themselves from heat more. I love that theme. I love the theme of their fighting each other. It's so cool. Denio, eh, it's fine. Zwellius, fine. Hydreigon, I actually kind of like Hydreigon, but the other ones are just, they're fine. I don't really like, I actually don't like this form, but I, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't like either of its earlier forms. But the final form looks really cool, though, because then the hair sprays out and you see its face and it's really threatening. I like that actually. It's really cool. But just the earlier mm, Hydrogen German for three Mythical multi-headed tree. Yeah, Hydra Dragon. Mythical fire. Yep. 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 That's what those words are. Huh. Yeah, I guess I never really put that together because that name's kind of Dre. Where is Dre in there? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I never put that name together, but now that I've seen it, yeah, that makes sense, totally. Larvesta, really cool Pokemon, I like it. Because it turns into this and it looks really cool when you're fighting it. Cobalion, I don't really like Cobalion, I don't really like Terracon. I kinda, I think Verizon is fine. Oh, where's the other one? Alright, well, whatever, Tornadus. I don't like these guys, some people really think they're cool, I don't like them, I think they're kind of lame. Reshiram and Zekrom awesome love them they're really cool landorus i don't really like but i do think he has the best therian form i do think he does have the best th form kyrim so cool more of this such an awesome three pokemon fusing into one how cool can you get it uh, the legendary ice pokemon waits for a hero to fill in the missing parts of its body with truth or ideas it generates powerful freezing energy inside itself, but its body became frozen when the energy leaked out. So cool. So cool. What an awesome Pokemon. 
but just awesome Pokemon. Keldeo! I like Keldeo. Keldeo I saw was pretty cool. The Shonen type character. Meloetta. I like Meloetta. I always, I don't know what it, what it was. I just always, I didn't understand the fighting type though. I always liked the, the normal typing on her, but I never understood the fighting type coming in. I, it just never got me. Genesect, 10 out of 10. Awesome Pokemon, really cool. Over 300 million years ago, it was feared as the strongest of hunters. It has been modified by Team Plasma. <laughs> so cool. And I think you get to add discs that adjust its, yep. Oh no, but I, can't you add discs to it that change what it does? So cool, such a cool Pokemon. Awesome Pokemon. Chespin. Eh. Eh. Don't really like that any of its evolutions. Fennekin, Briaxin, and Delphox. Awesome. 10 out of 10. Such a cool one. It gazes into f the flame at the tip of his branch to achieve a focused state, which allows it to see into the future. Using psychic powers, it generates a fiery vortex of over 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit, including incinerating foes swept up into a whirl of flame. Pretty cool. Like Delphox. Always been cool. Froki. A lot of people really like Greninja. I'm not really a big fan of Greninja. However, Ash Greninja, really weird looking. Really weird looking. Bunnel B, I never liked. Diggers B, never liked. Fletchling, wasn't really a big fan of, but Fletchender, awesome. Talonflame is amazing. This is what I, I always use Talonflame for my flame body because when you're breeding, if a Pokemon with Flame Body or Magma Armor and a Pokemon Egg are in the same party, the number of steps required to hatch the egg are halved. Use one of these when you're breeding, and I always liked using Talon Flame when I was breeding. It's always really easy to get, really cool, really awesome looking Pokemon. Scatterbug, eh, it's fine. Filler, filler. But then it becomes pretty cool looking. I always like fighting these because they always look really cool. Lit Leo, I like, I like a lot. Pyroar. I always loved the Pyro designs. So cool. I love the line designs. So awesome. And the... Ooh, look at that. That looks cool. Always cool. Always like using them. Flabebe. I... Nah, I never really liked it. Look at that weight and height. Ugh, it's like nothing. The, this Pokemon doesn't even exist. And that is here and it still barely even exists. And now it finally has some weight to it, but still not enough. This, this I feel like it's trying to be a bit too sultry actually, now that I think about it. Look at that, like it's just a, and then it's trying to be all sultry. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Its lifespan can several hundred years. It is said to devote its entire life to protecting gardens. I don't know about that. It looks like it's trying to be a bit too sultry with that. I don't know about that design. Couldn't have had that straight up. I guess... It's... Yeah, but it... I don't know. I, I think it should have been straight up. Skidoo. I kind of like Skidoo. Go-Go. Not bad. Pretty good Pokemon. Panchim. Pangro. I like Pangro because the stick it's having in its mouth. And it's, it's kind of neat how it works, but it's pretty cool. I like this Pokemon. Mold Breaker. It's always good. Always, always good. Furfro. I like Furfro because there's a lot of stuff that Furfro can do. There's a lot of things that can happen to Furfro. Yep, changed by grooming. There are a number of different appearances you can take on. The more it's groomed, the more styles that become available. Always really cool. Always loved all the different styles of Furfro. It's always cool to see him too. Look at that. Look at all those different styles. It's so cool. Always a great Pokemon. Real neat. Esper. Eh, it's, I, Esper's fine. Meowstic, though, really cool. I really like Meowstic. Meowstic is awesome. And going through the brief, mindless, creepy thing that you would like... <laughs> the organ that emits its intense psychic power is sheltered by its ears to prevent the power from leaking out. <laughs> it has enough psychic energy to blast everything within 300 feet of itself but has no control over power. So, like, its mind is 100% devoted to keeping in its power. Right? So I feel like you. this is something that you would just like get done battling with and you're like, all right, you go on the shelf now and you're just placing it on a shelf and it would just sit there the whole night just with its eyes open, staring at you. <laughs> but then it goes into Meowstick and it looks really cool actually because it has that 
It gets a much better looking design on both sides. It's really cool. Prankster? Competitive. Huh, look at that. Honed Edge. Love this one. The swords, do blade. Does this... When Honedge evolves, it divides its two into two swords, which cooperate via telepathy in order to coordinate attacks and slash their enemies to ribbons. That's really cool. That's really cool. Age of Slash. What happened to its other sword? Generations of kings were attended by these Pokemon, which used their spectral power to manipulate and control people and Pokemon. Wow. Apparently, it could detect the innate qualities of leadership according to legend. Whoever it recognizes is destined to become king. That's a really cool Pokemon. Never used it, but always a really cool Pokemon. It's got crazy good stats, too. For, like, what it does. And how it can bounce. This, Spritzy, I always thought were... They were fine. Yeah, I, I didn't like this. This form. Always kind of... Eh, it, it loses me on its second evolution. Swirlix, I didn't like. I never liked Swirlix and Slurluff. Inkay. Malamar. Now, there is some really cool thing. You have to hold your console upside down to get Malamar, which is why you might have trouble in the Switch version when this ever will this will eventually. I don't know if it will. Doing that, this was really cool in the handheld. This is a really cool Pokemon in the handheld. I always loved it. It was so cool to evolve. I love that that thought process of you flip it over and then it evolves in that way. So neat, so cool. However, this might be a problem to crew forward on the switch you would like just i'm assuming you would have to play it in uh like on the switch if you want to evolve you would have to pop the grips out the uh, not the grips the uh joy cons out and you would turn them around i guess is the best you could do for that to emulate that but then after the switch i have no idea if they still want to do that binacle i never liked it's a barnacle yeah i, I don't like this pokemon Screlp? I don't really like Screlp, but Dragalia? Drag Algae. Drag Algae. I like Drag Algae. Really cool. Really neat. Really cool Pokemon. Like it a lot. Clauncher? Fine. However, Clauncher, I always thought was really neat and really cool. Heliopite? Fine. Heliosk? I didn't like Heliosk as much. Tyrant? Not a big fan of uh, Tyrant, but. Tyrantrum. Awesome. It's eight feet tall. It's not actually as big as you would think, but it's 600 pounds. <laughs> Thing's a monster. Jaws can shred thick metal plates as if they were paper. Really cool. Really cool Pokemon. And then its counterpart is... Yeah, I, I never liked its counterpart, but the Oros. That is always a cool looking po Pokemon. I always loved looking at Refrigerate. Ah, okay. I thought it was like it had something to do with... Mm. Sylveon, love it. Love Sylveon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sylveon's great. Sylveon's fantastic. Hawalcha, fine. Never had anything. Dadney, I didn't like him. I don't. I Some people do, I don't. Carbink? Isn't Carbink like the... No, it's the other one. We'll, we'll wait for that. Carbink's fine. Because of the theming. Gumi, Slugu... And Gudra. I love these. These are these are really cool. The fact that it's dragon type Pokemon is always so much fun to me. I love that. Klefki. I actually kind of like Klefki. People give Klefki a lot of shit. But I actually kind of like Magician. Steals the item of the Pokemon. And it's a prankster, so it steals people's keys and stuff. It never let go of a key that it likes. So people give it the keys to vaults and saves as a way to prevent crime. And if you ever need to get it it's eight and six pounds it doesn't weigh a ton you can just steal it and people think like oh it's a key ring pokemon right yeah but think about it these aren't a part of its body a lot of people think that these oh wow a dimple lock uh these are people think that these are part of the body these aren't actually a part of the body it's just this and when you look at its design it's actually really cool if you look at it it's just, it looks kind of key-like, and it sees things that looks kind of like it, and it likes them, and it holds on to them. It's kind of neat. I like it. What terrible lock is this? You can break into that lock by just jamming a metal object into it. That's so terrible. Look at that. It's just a single plate. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to argue the keys. That's really cool, though, how they made a dimple. 
Long ago it lived in mines, but once the minerals that make up its diet became scarcer, Clough King appeared, started appearing in human settlements. Although it's unclear why it collects keys, giving it a key makes Clough King very happy. However, it apparently only likes the Master Keys. That's a really cool Pokemon. That's really cool on its lore. The key collectors threaten... These key collectors threaten any attackers by fiercely jingling their keys at them. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like it. Phantom... I like these guys. Trevenant? That's cool. It can control trees and will. It'll trap people who harm the forest so they can never leave. Through its roots, it exerts control over trees. A deadly curse falls upon anyone cutting down trees from forest where Trevent delves. That's cool. Punk Blue. I'm trying to see these. <laughs> so it's a pumpkin type Pokemon that just. Huh. I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel good about that, but I don't feel bad about it. Gorgeous. So when it's smaller, it has a... Oh, it goes average small. Okay, I was wondering, like, what was up with that? I just wasn't reading it. I was just clicking. I... You know what? That's kind of cool. It seems like it would be a massive pain in the ass to breed or catch... A good one, but hey, kind of cool. I just never really knew about that. It's all right, I guess. I kind of like it now because this this is a neat mechanic. But again, even then, its stat growth is so little. You're always bouncing at 494. That's not great numbers. It's good though. I guess it's fine. It's fine because the theming looks kind of cool. Bergamite, fine filler. Avalung, same thing. I never really thought much about it. Kind of filler. Noibat. I actually like Noibat and Noivern. I think they look really cool. I think that not only do they look really cool, I think they're really neat in just how they... They just... Something about the design on the back with the sharp wings and the resounding dome, which would be terrible for flying, by the way. I guess its head would be forward and... Mm. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Xeranus. Awesome. Love it. 10 out of 10. Such a cool Pokemon. Legends say that it can share eternal life. It can sleep a thousand years in the form of a tree before its revival. So cool. Shiny version looks awesome too. I had one of those. It was so neat. Yvelta. Also really cool Pokemon. I love it. When this legendary Pokemon just wings, tail feathers spread wide and glow red absorbs life force of living creatures. So neat. Such awesome Pokemon. Love them. Zygarde, I think a lot of people agree that Zygarde is pretty fucking cool. It's just really neat. It's a really cool overall Pokemon. Oh, so look at that crazy... Oof. Look at that crazy HP. 636 at max EVs. There it is. Deonce. Deonce, really cool. Really, really, really cool Pokemon. I like it. Mega Deonce also looks really neat. Looks awesome. Just awesome Pokemon. A sudden transformation of Carbink. Its pink, glimmering body is said to be the loveliest sight in the whole world. It's awesome. It can instantly create many diamonds by compressing the carbon in the air between its hands. Wow. Wow. Really cool. Really cool Pokemon. Awesome. Looks really neat. Shame it's an event exclusive. That's a real shame. Hoopa. Wasn't this the McDonald's Pokemon? Was it, I know Mew has been joked as the $50 bill Pokemon, thanks to Jay Woods, which is hilarious, I love that. How Mew, it's like, oh shit, $50 bill! I forgot to mention that when Mew was up. But, I, Hupa Unbound doesn't look bad, but Hupa Confined, I don't know. Something in my brain always said that this was the, uh, something in my brain said that this was always a... McDonald's. Maybe it was given away in a McDonald's event. Like, stop by McDonald's and get a Hoopa. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's... It's fine. I don't have... It's probably my least favorite legendary, and I'm saying it's fine because this form kind of brings it back up, but even this doesn't really look that great, because... 
its third arm isn't out on this side and it's, it's all hidden. It's, uh, I'm not really feeling its design that much. It is, I get it, it's a Dejinpo. Yeah, I get it, but I'm not really feeling its design. Volcanon, I think is cool, but I never really, it's all right. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. It's pretty good. You, you It's got some cool design elements to it if you look at it. Rowlet, Dartrix, I didn't like any of these. Lin, <sighs> Toracat, I love Toracat. And then Cineroar and the whole thing goes to shit. Populo, Brione, Primara, that's kind of cool. I like that. It's really cool. Pipek, Trumbeak, and Toucanon. I like Toucanon a lot. I like this evolution because it becomes Toucanon. Toucanon's really cool. I used Toucanon for a bit. Young Goose and Gumshoes. I nope. This is the one that they always used to. This and uh, they they used Gumshoes and uh, what was it? You ran to this and fuck, uh, Watch Hog. This and Watch Hog you ran to all the time in Sun and Moon. Hated them. Hated them. Hated them. Hated them. They're so boring and bland. I didn't like them that much. Grubbin. Yep. Yep, I hate this Pokemon. I hate Charbug. I don't like it. I don't like it. But Vicvolt, I think, is really, really, really cool. But you have to go through the bad form of it. And it's like, eh, yeah, it's fine. Because you're always going to be in this form anyways. This is really cool. The other ones, not so much. Don't like this Crab Crawler. It's not that good. I don't like it. And this looks awful. This looks awful. I hate this. This is terrible. It's bad. Oricono, I love. I love this Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. The Ballet and Sensu. So cool. These ones are so cool. I don't like the Pom Pom and the Pau. The Pau. Pau? I think it would be Pau. But these are. Mm. Copies the foe's dance move. What? Uses any dance move. Dancer causes. The ability to bear the same move immediately afterwards. They use their own abilities. Huh. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I want to use that now. That's really cool. I really want to use that. You just get a free Swords Dance if anyone uses Swords Dance, and Swords Dance is incredibly common. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. What's the ballet? What did... Is there any stat difference, or is this just, uh, no, it's not a statistical difference, it's just a typing difference. <coughs> I like it. I like it. I'm gonna use one of these. Next chance I get, I'm gonna totally use one of these. Really cool. Cutie Fly, eh, mm -hmm, didn't really like it very much. Ribbon A, gets better, but not a, not a big thing. Rock Ruff. Love Rock Ruff. Own Tempo. Oh, this must have been a specific one that they gave out. During a certain time. Rockruff is a sociable Pokemon, but as it grows, its disposition gets wilder. It begins to howl when the sun goes down. That is proof that it's close to evolving. It is said that it leaves its trainer's side to evolve and returns again when fully evolved. Rockruff has an excellent sense of smell. And once it has smelled an odor, it doesn't forget it. There are tales of these Pokemon getting separated from their trainers and using the faintest traces of their scent to track them for days until they are reunited. Rockruff's awesome. I love Rockruff. His forms are... Really, really cool, too. 745, 745, 745. Does that mean... Lycanroc? Yep, okay. Lycanroc. Midday. So cool. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's quick movements. When properly raised from a young age, it'll become a trustworthy partner that'll absolutely never betray its trainer. Love it. Sharp rocks in its mane. Cut like knives. Lycanroc prays down his prey before finishing them off. Use the Lycanroc so much. Lycanroc's amazing. I love it. Midnight form. Really cool. Really, really, really cool. The more intimidating the opponent faces, the more this Pokemon blood boils. It will attack with no regard for its own safety. It goads its enemies into attacking, withstands its hits, and in return delivers a headbutt, crushing the bones with a rocky mane. It has no problem ignoring orders it doesn't like. It doesn't seem to mind getting hurt at all as long as it could finish off its opponent. They live alone without forming packs. They will only list orders from trainers who could draw out their true power. Such, I love these, this Lycanroc forms. Dust form is unfortunate because it was a special event, Lycanroc, and you're never really going to see this again. That's, that's what sucks about it. You can't do those. These, it's so cool, and now you don't get anything of it. 
should be werewolf Pokemon. <laughs> it's so cool, and now you can't... Like, yeah, like, look at the statistic difference between this and normal. Like, look at that statistic difference. You're getting two give and take on attack to Dusk. But I really like the way Dusk form looks. And Tough Claws ain't bad. Bathed in the setting sun of the evening, Lycanroc has undergone a special kind of evolution. An intense fighting spirit underlines its calmness. This strange form is a result of evolving at Dusk. It's very rare in Aloha. So cool, but unfortunately you only get it from that event. Pokemon sucks. Hope they change that in the future and it just becomes like a normal evolution. With a... It becomes like during the time of day you choose we will evolve it. Nighttime in Pokemon Moon or Ultra Moon. Sun or Ultra Sun. It should have just been you evolve during the day. In the future, I hope this Pokemon ends up being evolve during the day, you get Lycanroc. Evolve during the night, you get, I mean, well, Lycanroc in its night form. You evolve during dusk, again, 5 to 6 p.m. Hey, you get the dusk form. That's cool. I like that. Just have the three different forms, but have them not limited to the game, obviously. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I hope that's in the future. Wishy-washy. I actually really, 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 really like Wishy-washy. I think Wishy-washy is amazing, actually. Changes Wishy-washy's school form. This is one of the coolest f Pokemon I think I've ever seen. It, when it is at least level 20, it has to have above 25% HP, and Wishy-Washy is at least level 20. His HP if he falls below, will revert back to the solo form. It's awesome. I love this Pokemon. It's so cool. So, so cool. It's amazing. It's so neat. 173 pounds. It's so many schooled together. I, I love it. It's neat. It's awesome. Look at all the forms. It's so cool. So neat. So much trouble. When in trouble, its eyes moisten and begin to shine. The shining light attracts its comrades, which will stand together against their enemies. Weak wishy-washy school together to concentrate their power. Their united force makes them a demon of the sea, feared near and far. At their appearance, even Gyarados, Gyarados will feel. Will flay. Oh, feel. Oh, feel what? Flay. When they team up to use Water Gun, its power exceeds that of a Hydro Pump. So cool. I love, I used this so much. This was such an amazing Pokemon. It was so much fun to use. So cool, so neat. Marantime, not really liking her. She's fine. She's filler. This is kind of neat. I like this a bit better because you have the tiny husk inside, the, like the real body inside, but the huge exterior. I always thought it was really cool. This is actually like, this makes up that's the problem with Pokemon. It's like sometimes the first forms aren't good, but the later forms are good. Sometimes the earlier forms are bad. But, I mean, the the later forms are bad, but the earlier forms are better. That's a tough one. Mudbray. I don't like Mudbray. And it evolves into Mudshell. This is the one horse Pokemon that I don't... I just don't really like that much. Dewpiter. I don't like Dewpiter. And Aquanid. I never liked him. I never liked... Him. I always felt like these would just pop if any pressure was put on them, and it, I, it just made me feel weird. It is 180 pounds. You know what? Never mind. It's pretty big. I'm starting to like it a bit better now that I have the context of its size. That's kind of fucking terrifying. That thing was coming after you. That's actually kind of cool. I like that actually now. Now that I look at its size. Let's let's read something from it. Level 22. Ooh, wow. It levels up at 22. It delivers headbutts with the water bubble on its head. Small Pokemon get sucked into the bubble where they drown. <laughs> All right, I like it. It's kind of cool. Never mind. I take that back. It's that one's pretty cool. Fomantis, eh? Lunatus. I actually like Lunatus. I like Lunatus. Lunatus looks cool. If it didn't have the stripy and had like the red with the white, like on the tips, I would like it a lot more. But it is pretty good. More lol. I don't like. And Slinta, Shintonic. I don't like either. Saladin. Great Pokemon. Saladin. Awesome Pokemon. Really cool. Sawzall. Amazing Pokemon. Fantastic. Look at that monster. Look at that monster. Only 50 pounds. But it's so cool looking. Look at that pose. Look at that Jojo pose. That Jojo pose. For some reason, only females have been found. It creates a reverse harem of male sound that lives in with it. Filled with pheromones, this poisonous gas can be diluted to use the production of luscious perfumes. They live deep in the caves and forests. Forces of Saladin have attracted with a pheromones to serve it. 
It punishes Saladin that couldn't bring it food with a fierce slap of its fire spewing palm. Really cool Pokemon. Awesome. I love them. They're so cool. Additional artwork. Is this just gonna be the global link? Yeah, boo. Snuff. Stuffle. Ah. I don't like Stuffle, but it's, it's kind of funny how it becomes Beware. Beware is kind of cool. I kind of like Beware. When Beware grows fond of its trainer, it may show off that feeling in a fond embrace, but the force of that hug is tremendous. Trainers must teach these Pokemon how to restrain their strength when showing affection. <laughs> Bound Sweet. Eh, I wasn't a big fan. But Steeny kind of looks better. Kind of cute to see every now and again. Wouldn't really use it. And Sonara, Sonara. It's alright. I like it. It's cool enough. Comfy. I don't remember this. Ah. I must have killed it. I didn't even remember this one, so I'm going to say I didn't like it. The fact that I didn't even remember it, even remotely. I don't like it. I don't like him. But I don't like him because I don't like his animations that he uses when he attacks. And that's more of a thing. I just don't like how he waves his fan around. I get what they're going with it, but I don't like it that much. I like this one, actually. This one looks kind of cool. It's kind of neat. I like it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like that Pokemon. Wimpod? Yeah, it's fine. I get what you're going for, but Pod is awesome. Such a cool one to see just randomly. Look at that. 231 pounds. Six feet tall. Switches out when HP falls below... 50% automatically. Huh, weird. Sandy Gast. Really cool Pokemon. Really, really, really cool Pokemon. Born from a sand mound, playfully built by a child. This Pokemon embodies the grudges of the departed. <laughs> it takes control of anyone who puts its hands in its mouth. And so it adds to the accumulation of sand mounded body. It likes the shovel on its head, so Sandy Gast will get serious and fight any children who come to take it back. If you build sand mounds when you're playing, destroy them before you go home. Or they may get possessed and become a sandy guest. So cool. Palace Sand. Possessed people controlled by this Pokemon transformed its sand mound into a castle. As it evolved, its power to curse grew ever stronger. Buried deep, buried beneath the castle are masses of dried up bones from those who have valiantly... Whose vitality it has drained. Oh my... This thing's so cruel. Each of its grains of sand has its own will. Palace Sand eats small Pokemon and siphons away their vital essence while they're still alive. Once it has whipped up a sandstorm to halt its opponents in their tracks, this terrifying Pokemon snatches away their vitality. Whew. 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 How terrifying. <laughs> and to evolve, what do you do? Just throw sand at it from a distance? <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> Pimuku is kind of cute. And although it does, it is that thing that like spits out its organs. Tradition of Pimuku chucking started as the custom of throwing Pimuku back to the sea after they washed on shore. Its entire body is covered in its own So If you actually step on one, you'll slip, it'll get mad, and smack you. These Pokemon live beneath the sticky mouths that cover their bodies can be used to soothe their skin. Such as near beach, it can eject its internal. Here it is. Lives in shallow areas and. Near the beach, it inject in its internal organs, which it uses to engulf its prey or battle enemies. Ugh. Ugh. Type Null. I really like Type Null. The heavy control mask it wears suppresses its intrinsic capabilities. This Pokemon has some hidden special power. Due to the danger that the synthetic Pokemon may go on a rampage, it wears a control mask to restrain its power. A Pokemon's weapon... A Pokemon weapon developed for a specific mission. It went berserk during experience, so it was cryogenically frozen. There's danger for going on a rampage, so its true power has been sealed away beneath its control mask. And, I love that, to get it to evolve into Savali, it has to have high friendship, so it has to like you. It's really, 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 really cool. I really like that. It's got... It's cool, because it, look at its stats. It was developed, and look, as a human-developed thing, it's pretty baseline. It's pretty standard. It's good. Arcas, this is the one with the discs, I think. Yeah. It trusts its partner that awakens. It's a trust in its farmer that awakens. The Pokemon is capable of changing its type, flexibility, and is well displayed in battle. Although the name was Type Null at first, the boy who evolved into this form gave it the name by which it is now known. This is the form it once had awakened and evolved. Freed from its heavy mass, its speed is greatly increased. 
destroyed its own control mask. It has become capable of changing into a type by collecting special memories. Do we have its memory form? No, we don't have the memory form available to say. Awesome Pokemon, though. Real cool. Real, real cool Pokemon. Minor. I don't like this Pokemon. It's neat. I get it. It's kind of cool. I mean, look at this. I like that. I like that whole... It's the same thing and just its crust breaks off. I like that. But the Pokemon in itself... Eh, it's fine. It ends up being filler. Kamala, I don't really like. Tarantor, I kind of like. It's it's kind of neat to fight. It's a cool looking Pokemon to fight because you see something different. They don't usually see that much. Togemaru, I don't like that much. Mimiku, I think most people really like Mimiku. Mimiku's really cool. He's really cool, really fun. And how the disguise eats the first hit. The Pikachu disguise is so cool. And what what is it here? After going through all the effort disguising itself, its neck was broken. Whatever is inside is probably unharmed, but it's still feeling sad. If its neck is broken or its rag is torn during attack, it works through the night to patch it. It stands in front of a mirror trying to fix its broken neck as if its life depended on it. It has a hard time getting it right, so it's crying inside. Sad that its true identity may be exposed. Mimikyu will mercilessly seek revenge on any opponent who breaks its neck. Its actual appearance is unknown. A scholar who saw what was under its rag was overwhelmed by terror and died from the shock. A lonely Pokemon and conceals its terrifying appearance beneath an old rag so it can get closer to people and other Pokemon. Although it's a quiet, lonely Pokemon, if you try to look at what's under the rag, it will become agitated and resist violently. Ultra Moon. A gust of wind revealed what hides under the Pokemon's rag to a passing trader, who went home and died painfully that very night. Such an adorable, horrendously terrible Pokemon. <laughs> really cool, though. Really awesome. Bruxish, don't like. Drampa, don't really like it that much. Delmice, I kind of like Delmice. Wasn't this only in a uh, moon? No, it was available. Yeah, I just didn't really run into it that much. Really cool Pokemon, though. Really cool. I like it a lot. Jangalo. Oh, Hakumo. I... Uh, I really like Kimono. Kimono. I really like this. This is really cool. But its other forms just don't really get me. It doesn't really bother me that much, because what's the evolution path? 45? Eh, 45 is a long time. You're going to have that. But Kimono looks... Oh, Kimono looks so cool. Bulletproof. From Ball and Bomb Moves. Ah, gotcha. Really cool. Really, really, really cool final evolution. Before, though, mm, not so much. Tapu Koko and Tapu Lele. Kind of like them. They're pretty cool. I like their whole theme of how like they burst it out and she's still using her... Hers. Oh, it's genderless, but, well, she, clearly. Like, look at that. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's cool. I like. Tapu Bulu, I didn't see you in the game. I never saw him in the game. Is it Ultra? No, Sun and Moon. Yeah, I just never ran into him. I didn't play Sun and Moon that much. Tapu Fini, so cool. So cool. I loved her. I saw the Tapu Fini. I love the mermaid design. Kind of like the Mermaid Clan. I love that. That's really cool. It's a really cool looking design. Cosmog. I like Cosmog. Cosmog's pretty cool. Cosmog is pretty cool. And then you Cosmog. Cosmo. Moem. Cosmoem. And then you get Soliago. Soliago. You get Soliago. <sighs> Was there a way... Lake of Sun, Lake of Moon, Lake of Sun, Lake of... Ah, I guess there was. Wow, I barely played Sun and Moon. I barely, barely, barely played Sun and Moon. Soliago, Lunala, really cool looking Pokemon. Love their designs, thought they were really cool. I went with Soliago, by the way. And now we're into the Ultra Beasts, which aren't technically Pokemon, but are technically Pokemon. These are cool. Buzzwool was the most hilarious one, I think we can all agree was hilarious and awesome. 10 out of 10. Nilago, fine. They do some cool things with Nilago and Sun and Moon with the uh, final boss, so it looks kind of cool, but eh. Buzzwool. Fermosa, I really like Fermosa. Really cool design. 
Zyrtec. Not bad, but again, just looks like wires and eh. Eh, not really feeling that. <coughs> Celestala, same thing. Kind of just wiry, electronical. Not really a big fan of that. Cartana, I actually like a lot. It's really cool. How it's like a uh, paper... Not a paper mache, but it's like a paper type, paper craft Pokemon that has like sharp edges that it's going to cut you with. Really cool. I like that. Guzzlord, this is a cool one. This is a really neat one. Necrozuma, Duskmane, Necrozuma. So, 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 so cool. It's This is the one thing that I wanted in Ultra Sun and Moon to actually get to. Oh, you can actually get it in Sun and Moon. Um, really cool. Like it. I should really play Sun and Moon again and, like, actually beat it on Ultra Sun and Moon. Because I this is so cool. Like, look at that. Look at that. That looks awesome. Psychic Steel, Psychic Ghost. This is such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Hey, Garena. It's fine. I don't have anything to say. It's filler. Kind of looks like a Clang. So, eh. Marshado. Eh, fine. Poi Poi. Fine. Is that a... Where did you get this? Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Because I don't remember seeing that. I, now we're getting to Pokemon that I've never seen because I stopped playing the new ones and stopped following the new, new, new stuff. It's fine, but apparently this is an event thing. That looks... Is that the evolution of an Ultra Beast? Woo! Woo! That's cool. That's neat. That's threatening, but cool. That, I... I actually kind of like this. I kind of like how it's built. That is a really cool design. I like this a lot. Is this an Ultra Beast? It is an Ultra Beast. Yeah, okay. Huh. Huh. It slithers toward people, then without warning, it triggers the explosion of its own head. It is apparently a one-of-a-kind Ultra Beast. A UB that appeared from Ultra Wormhole caused the explosion takes advantage of opponent's surprise to rob them of their vitality. I... I like that. That's actually really cool. The theming of that is kind of cool. It's a firework that just like scares you and then while you're surprised. That's... I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's actually a really cool one. Ziora. Like it. Totally like it. Neat, neat little design. This almost doesn't look like it was in the game. Oh. That's really weird artistic rendition of it. I'm gonna go with 400 Melton Candies. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's why, because it's Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hmm, no wonder that looks weird. But I do like this. I do like a, like, a metal metallic that's been melted down. Huh. I like that. I actually do like that. The fact that it actually has... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. How it's melted metal with, like, no... Yeah. Nuts and bolts. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. And now we're done. We're done. We're officially in the new list. And that's it. I did all of it in one sitting. <laughs> My voice hurts. I bet you could hear the wear on me over the time. This was three hours, including the 30 minutes I did before. I'm gonna go to get a drink and relax. This has been me going through every single damn Pokemon. All eight, ten. Not eight, ten. All 809 that this website had. All the starters went over them twice. Whew. Shouldn't have done this. This was a problem. I'm gonna regret editing this. I'm gonna re regret everything about this. But I did it, and that's what really matters in the end. And I'll see y'all next time, I guess, if my voice ever recovers. See ya.